Hi, everybody. Root check. Everybody get your roots out. The stream is about to begin. Need some hydration and some energy before we get started tonight. Welcome! Hello! Are we Yoshi posting? No. How many of you guys got the, uh, got the go live notification? I realize I never did this before, but I should really start doing this. I didn't realize how funny this could be. You're just, I, you're watching somebody else's stream and then this just pops up. I think that's pretty good. I was gonna name the stream this, but I was like, you know, if you don't know what Smash is and you don't know Yoshi's sound, maybe you don't know what the sound that is. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny noise. He struggles so hard. Alright. Welcome, everybody. To another grand night of streamtastic efforts. Is Yoshi having a heart attack? No. I don't think it's what a heart attack sounds like. I think heart attacks are much more... Uh, Muted. <laughs> I don't think you have the energy to make all... I've never had a heart attack, so I don't know. Nobody in my family has ever had one, but... Hi, everybody. I don't know. I feel like maybe I could double jump. I've never tried that hard. I feel like Yoshi trying that hard is harder than I've ever tried anything in my life. And if I tried to do that, I might be able to double jump, too. Thank you, Beefy's Bear. I need to I need to really adjust my go live notifications. People seem to really I I've literally just left it at the normal thing forever, which just says Coney is live. It's a hashtag branding moment. We can make that say I think I'm just gonna make it say that forever, actually. I don't think I'm even gonna change it. I think I'm just gonna make it say Yoshi's double jump sound. I think I'm just gonna leave it at that forever. That's pretty good. The only time I've ever naturally made the Yoshi sound is using the gentleman's room. Have you ever grunted doing that? I think that's a cartoon thing. I don't think I've ever grunted on the toilet. I think the most I've ever managed is quiet desperation. I've never made noise. But I've... I've certainly pled to God on the toilet before. Please, Lord, let this end. I've had... I've... I've, I've prayed for mercy on the toilet before. That's the most I've done, I think, though. Coney, do you mix stuff with root? Because it burns my thro throat if I drink it as is. First off, not a great endorsement. Uh, gotta send you to some PR training. Second off, uh, no, I just drink it straight up. But it is a little aggressive. It's a little strong. It is a little strong. You're right. You gotta be a strong person to drink it. I'm laughing at potty humor like a child. We don't do potty humor okay. on this stream. That's not what we do. Coney, it's a little elevated. Did you elevated. know gorillas are four nine x stronger than humans? Kick. I did know. <laughs> Didn't even do the W. Just kick. I did know that actually. A little birdie told me, or should I say, a little gorilla? I want Coney branded glasses. Why glass? I don't even wear glasses. What are you talking about? Oh, ooh, thank you, Silver P. Starting off the stream strong with the five gifties. Big thank you. Puts me well above 2,200. I'll never go below 2,200 again. Never, ever. So, uh, I did not talk about this before. So, I figure now's a good time. Sorry to smash post. I promise it's not going to be all the time. Uh, we didn't talk about the Summit lineup in full. Man. Weird. What happened? Any news on the podcast? More is coming. We're busy. We're busy. Just, it's, it's gonna happen. We're both busy. 
Okay? It's gonna happen. And also, we need to talk to each other again, because we're really mad at each other. We got we had a huge fight after the last podcast. We had an enormous fight. Because I said that B. Arthur was the best golden girl. And I stick by that. But Jacob is... I, I think he's got, like, recency bias because the whole, you know... You know what happened, so... Yeah, we all... Like, if we were if we were there in person, we would have come to blows. Why didn't Alfred invite you to that YouTube dinner? Bro, I'm across the country. <laughs> hey, Coney, fly 3,000 miles for this bit. And that's why we fought. Because that motherfucker didn't invite me. Dude, this summit actually looks very fun. I I am I am thrilled for this. Uh obviously I would have liked it more if Mars was there, because, you know, it's Mars. That's my guy. Um, I'm very excited for this. I think it's a very good lineup. I have heard people also say this is the worst lineup in summit history. So I guess you can't make everybody happy, right? A Kony, EE, -E, and TK podcast would go crazy. We used to do that for Smash Brothers. It was called Blast Zone. We stopped doing it because there was a lot... There just wasn't stuff to talk about in Smash. Um, and now the game isn't getting updated anymore, so what's there to talk about, you know? It depends on what you want out of Summit. Do you want top-level competition? Do you want entertainment? Do you want good side events? Like, side stuff. Um, is this the top level of competition? No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. But it'll be fun. You'll have a lot of silly matches. All of these players are good. Um to some degree, right? Obviously, I think that, uh, I worry for base mage because I think that, uh, a lot of base mage's power, obviously, very good player. I think a lot of his power comes from, you don't real, you don't think you're going to fight the Jigglypuff in bracket. There's one Jigglypuff in bracket and you have like a one in 500 chance of fighting him. So you don't really prepare for it. If the event only has 16 people and he's one of them, probably going to fight the Jigglypuff. I think people are going to be ready. Um, what he does with that information, we'll see. But I, I just, I feel like if you know the Jigglypuff's going to be at the tournament and you have to fight him, people will be ready. So, yeah. I think that'll be a concern. I don't know. I'm excited for this. I wish I could see the other players. I don't remember who exactly is into it or who is in it, but we'll see. <clears throat> Do you have any experience with non-platform fighters? I played... I, I played Mortal Kombat. I love Kano. Uh, I played a little bit of Street Fighter that I tried to get into, and I did not really like it. Um... I tried playing Guilty Gear, there was too much to it. Too much stuff. I just... I... My problem with fighting games is that I don't have the time to learn it. I feel like I just wouldn't have fun. I don't... I don't like playing a game for a long time. I consume, and then I get excited for next product. Cody, you should play the Card Shark demo. Yeah, is that out? We were gonna play a demo tonight. But first, I have to show you a game. Uh, <laughs> now, how do I, how do I intro this? This game showed up on Keymailer today. Keymailer is a site that you could go to and basically publishers will be like, hey, cover our game and we'll give you a free key. But one of them stood out to me immediately and see if you can tell why. This game is called Longvinter. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
This is a whole genre now. You could just put out a Nintendo game, but add gunplay. And there's a, a whole new element to it. That's your game now. It's literally just Animal Crossing, but with guns. Take risks. I didn't actually watch the trailer yet, so I don't know when they get to the good part. Oh, right now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my god! Jesus, dude! Look at them running for their lives, just... All these poor guys. Oh, man. Yeah, so this is a game now that you can get, I think. Oh, early access is soon. Long Vinter. Dude, this was the image that was on Keymailer. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, this one here. Let me show you this image that made me want to watch the trailer. What? How do I not click on that? The second I saw this, I had to take a look. Amazing. Look at the noses. <laughs> How, I mean, it's a famously litigious company, right? Nintendo is infamous for going after these guys. How is everybody's balls so big? Was it something about COVID? Everybody's just like, yeah, fuck you. I'm going to make your game. But with guns. It's so blatant. Can't copyright a nose. You can't copyright a nose, but surely you could copyright this face. Or is this like a play play mobile guy? This looks like a toy guy. You should be able to do something here. Besides Mario, I feel, I feel like Nintendo has great ideas, but subpar execution. Is that subpar? Nintendo only goes... A four, like, 40% of the way. Like, they'll come up with an idea, and the idea is amazing, but they don't take it to its conclusion. Like, Animal Crossing. You can, you can have an area, like a village and a town, and have a deep level of customization along with a bunch of friends around, but you can't defend it from intruders. You can't be nationalist about your little town and, and go kill other people with towns. And I feel like that's a logical progression. As man is meant to create, he is also meant to destroy, you know? I think that Nintendo just needs to be pushed a little bit. I wonder if... I guess it hasn't happened yet. This is a dumb thought. I was thinking, I wonder if Nintendo ever will bite the bullet and say, Yeah, fuck it. Uh, Pokemon is mature now. Now we have an adult Pokemon. The Gen... Six babies have grown up into middle-aged men, and now we're not going to make kids stuff anymore. But they're always going to make kids stuff. It's like John Cena turning heel. It's not going to happen. And that's fine. That makes sense. Nintendo is for the kids. As it should be, you know? We're never going to go, like, full Epic Mickey with Link. Like, full, full Epic Mickey with the early concept art and stuff. Uh... <laughs> So, somebody linked something in the Watch This Video group, uh, the Discord. By the way, in case you guys don't know, um, my sub Discord, which is for subscribers only, links videos in there sometimes. There's a Watch This Video spot. And somebody linked a video called, uh, Cartoon All-Stars to the Rescue. Now... If you don't know what this is, I thought a lot of people did know what this was. I thought it was pretty popular. Uh, basically what it is, it's an anti-smoking PSA, okay? Now, we're not going to watch the whole thing because it's half an hour long. But essentially what it is is it's a bunch of cartoon characters, including Winnie the Pooh, the Smurfs, Baby Muppets, uh, Slimer from Ghostbusters, Alf, Alvin and the Chipmunks, uh, the Ninja Turtles are in here somewhere. Uh, mm, Bugs Bunny, right? Uh, I don't, I don't think any. Di oh, that's stupid. I was gonna say I don't think any Disney characters are in here. Mickey Mouse doesn't show up. Mickey Mouse doesn't give a shit if you smoke, which is tacitly endorsing it. No, Bugs Bunny. Uh, Ninja Turtles are in the sewer. 
Oh, okay, they're here. Yeah. Tigger. I saw Tigger. Basically, uh, every cartoon character you could think of, or at least half of the cartoon characters you could think of, show, oh, there's Daffy, show up to tell this kid not to smoke. Smoking is really bad for you, and it'll make people not like you. Here he is with a crack pipe. Uh, they say, don't do that, it leads to bad drugs. What you might not know, dear viewer, is this worked on me. This isn't a joke. I watched this as a kid. And I said, oh my god, I never want to smoke. I literally, I've never smoked in my life. And I've never drank, really. I mean, like, I've had a couple drinks when I got way older, and I, like, got buzzed once. But I always stayed away from alcohol and drugs personally, just because, one, because of family experiences and stuff. But two, because I saw shit like this, including Dare. Alpharad and I I'll talked about this on the podcast. Dare worked on me. It's crazy. And everybody laughs at Dare saying it didn't work. And people laugh at this video. Oh my god, LOL. Look at look at Leonardo from the Ninja Turtles telling you not to smoke. Bro, I was like, yeah, Leo, I won't do it. Hand to God. So this video this movie, this PSA saved at least one young soul. It worked on me. Now, I don't know if it was just this specifically, or if it was, like, the zeitgeist. I think it was, like, a multitude of factors. But this was a big deal, bro. I was influenced. I was parasocial with Alvin and the Chipmunks. That's not true. I didn't really care about them. I was parasocial with the Ninja Turtles, who actually, I don't think we're in this. I think there's another PSA with them... Oh, there he is. Wait, no, I saw him. That was definitely Michelangelo. Ah, there he is. Never mind, he is here. There's another PSA. Dude, this was everywhere in the 90s. Oh my god, hold on. Let me find the other, the other one. <laughs> this is also the one I had, because I had a lot of Ninja Turtles on VHS. Ah, this one's about pie. Hey, Joey! Hey, Joey! <laughs> hey, Joey. I got some stuff you just gotta try. What is it? Huh? You know, marijuana. Oh, Joey's in a jam. What should he do? Uh, get a pizza. Excellent. Let's see if Joey's that smart. I'm not chicken. You're a turkey. Yes. Real. Huh? You know, marijuana. Cowabunga! B wait, what? <laughs> hey, Joey. Wait, what? Oh, that's a recut. Okay, I was gonna say, that's not how it ends. That's not what's supposed to happen. No, that's not it. <laughs> Is it this one? Hey, Joey. I got okay, it's got to be this one. They don't try. smoke marijuana with the uh, bully. You know, marijuana. Oh, well, I don't know. What, chicken? Joey's in a jam. What should he do? Uh, cake. Get a teacher. Excellent. Get oh. A pizza. Get real. Mikey's definitely a pothead, dude. Uh, I'm not chicken. You're a turkey. Michelangelo invites him right, to get a pizza with his Don't bully. Talk to him. Go ahead and smoke some over a uh, over a nice deep dish. This always was weird to me because I was like, how are they watching this? But now I see that the kids are watching it in there. I thought the Ninja Turtles were watching this PSA like from their lair. And I was like, are they like Batman? Do they have cameras all over the city, including public schools? And they're like, I, I had this thought when I was six or seven. I had all the all the VHS tapes of this. <laughs> Michelangelo is definitely a pothead, bro. <laughs> he just told him to get a pizza. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Just one puff won't hurt. Anyway, I'm easily influenced. And I thought you all should know. It's so you don't feel so bad when when you sub to me based on my influence, you know, when I ask you to and then you drop a prime. Like this person's about to. Don't feel so bad. Because I used to be you. We used to be the same. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Just give it a second. You get to be on the big screen. You prime right now, you get to be on the big screen. Watch. Somebody's gonna do it. They love the big screen. Here it comes. It's coming. 
Okay, uh, I have a lot of stuff to get to. Did you guys see the, uh, the Street Fighter trailer, by the way? <laughs> I, so, you guys are gonna be mad at me. Promise you won't be mad. You guys, you guys have to promise not to be mad. Please promise not to be mad. Please, right now, before we start. I won't start unless you guys say it. You have to promise not to be mad. I'm already mad. I didn't like it. No, all right. No, no, no. It's nothing like that. <laughs> Basically, uh, if you guys remember on Sunday, there was one hour left until they showed the trailer. And everybody's like, oh, Cody, stay up. Stay up. Keep watching. You know, you're going to you're gonna watch the trailer, right? You're going to see the Capcom announcement. I said, no, no. I'm a sleepy boy. I got to go to bed. Uh, dear viewer, I didn't go to bed. I stayed awake. I watched this with my own eyes. I played some Horizon uh, Forbidden West. And uh, I, I forgot you guys existed. You guys, I zonked out. I caught a couple uh, Charger Horns and ran around the map a little bit. But this is what I waited up to see. And I'm glad I didn't stay up, by the way, because this didn't go up until like 1 a.m. I thought it was going up at midnight. It did not. But this is all we got. <laughs> Damn, does that look good, dude. Ew, why is toe? Why did they do this? You know, the other stuff I could see. You know, the RE engine looks amazing. He has scars all over him. Why his tootsies? Why his tootsies? Why is he so moist? There's a young man who has never worked a day in his life. Are you serious? You ever been to a gym, buddy? What do you mean? He's fighting. Look at his wet toes. Ew, look at his toenails. Uh I never noticed his toenails. Like they're they're not well kept. This one looks infected. Oh, why do they uh why do they curl? God, the RE engine is amazing. It really is. All right. Who? You ready? Who is this doofus? By the way, I don't know who this is. That's Luke, right? Who is in Street Fighter V? What's his deal? What's Luke's deal? <laughs> Why is he like this? Somebody did tell me, though, that... Hold on. Somebody pointed this out, and I didn't know this because I don't play Street Fighter. Uh... You see Luke's shirt here with, like, the V, which I guess is for 5, Street Fighter 5? Uh, that's actually a tattoo, which means that he has a tattoo of his shirt under his shirt. Uh, it's a little strange. Don't know why that's the case. Don't know why you would do that. Also, the stars on the shoulders. A little weird. This might be before 5. Oh, God. We're jumping in the timeline again. Ugh. <laughs> He's so goofy looking. Why did they put their all into this guy? I just don't know who at the Capcom board meeting would be like, yeah, that's our new face. That's our new guile. That's the guy I like. What a weirdo. You ready? I ain't never back This sounds like Mark Henry's entrance music. No, it doesn't. Wait, no. What's that other song? I never scared. It's Bone Shaker. This is Bone Shaker. What is that? I, I don't. I hate this guy, dude. I hate this guy. I don't know why they wanted me to like him. I don't like the way this guy looks. I do like that sub, though. Thank you, one man... One pie man pie. One pie man pie. Thank you for the sub. Sorry I missed it. And Swagmaster. Ugh. Everybody hates him? I mean, then why are they putting them... They're all in Street Fighter Six. Why are they doing... All, by the way, this is all you got. That's it. 
this was this was what everybody stayed up for. That's all it was. Uh, and then they said more news coming in June. Look at his arm. Do arms do this? Is this like a flex on the RE engine? Ah! Oh my god! Ew! Look at the smile, too. What a trick. I could see Scott, Scott, uh, Scott Steiner's arm doing that. That's it. I like Luke. He has fun gameplay, and he is super top tier. Thank you, Keto. Is that true? Dude, Josh and I were talking at Xanadu. He was like, you should play Street Fighter again. I'm like, no, I don't want to learn a game. He said, you should play Ed. Ed is Smash character. And I was like, is he good? He's like, yeah, he's pretty good. I'm like, okay. Well, maybe. I don't know, dude. I, I get what they're going for here. Oh, he has a scar. I get what they're going for here from a branding perspective, right? You've got the new school. The blue and the orange. The new wave of fighters. The new guard that the old guard has to pass to, okay? That's the idea here with this, with this smiling gentleman. That's his vibe. Ryu represents the old guard. The old ways. This is very Street Fighter 4-esque. Kind of 5, too, with the watercolor. You know what I mean? I, I get very strong Street Fighter 4. I get what they're trying to do. The problem is people hate this fucking guy. I don't know anybody that likes him. Also, this logo, which I, I gotta confess, I like the logo. I do. I like the logo, bro. I know. I know. I'm not. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I like the logo. Here's why. Here's why. Settle down. Settle down, my little piglets. Settle down. Here's why. I like the logo because it's clear they want the UFC MMA realistic something audience. This is almost an octagon. It's close. This is almost an octagon. I think this is going to be a more grounded, down-to-earth game. And I think that's what they're going for here. Now, I'm not a fan. Thank you, Rapscallion. I'm not a fan of the whole, like, this is like an app on your phone with six notifications. Not really into that. Maybe it's a mobile game. But it does feel, I don't know. I kind of like the back to basics. I actually do. I'm not kidding. I like the back to basics. I like the idea that this is supposed to be... It, it looks like a fresh start, more minimalist. I'm a big fan of minimalist logos and designs. I am. I think they're cool. I like modern designs. Uh, you can eat my ass if you don't like that. You guys really... You want goofy-ass colors because that's what you're used to because you're, you're an ADHD Zoomer and you just want to be bright sensation uh, input everywhere. I don't care. Oh, I need to be stimulated. I don't give a shit. This is my product. I'm sick of that. Uh, however, I was troubled when I saw this. Um, now, mm, I'm telling you that I liked this to set up the fact that uh, apparently I'm a fucking idiot. Because this logo appears to be a logo design template that you could buy for $80 on the Adobe Stock Image Store. <laughs> Apparently, you could buy their logo for $80 on Adobe. So, I don't know what to think anymore. Because I legitimately saw this logo. My dumbass watched this trailer and I was like, oh. That's a bold new direction. I felt like the guy from American Psycho. I was Patrick Bateman. I was like, ah, yes. A bold new direction for the Street Fighter franchise. The old versus the new. A new, clean, modern, mil minimalist take on the established fighter franchise. And then I read this. I'm like, I'm a fucking moron. Somebody at Capcom just doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> I gave them so much credit. My dumbass thought this was a hashtag branding moment, but no. I'm just stupid. Yeah, this is this is the logo comparison. Dude, I don't care. I don't care if it's different. I don't care if it's different. Wah, I want stuff to be the same until I'm dead. 
Shut up. I don't care if stuff is different. Now, Capcom's problem was uh, was was putting this trailer out with no other information on their site with a countdown <laughs> and getting it leaked days before. That was their mistake. What the fuck? Why did you think this would be enough? They had nothing else to say. Cool. I mean, listen, the RE engine, mwah, magnifique. The RE engine is perhaps the most impressive thing in gaming today. Good lord, dude. It's magical. I love the RE engine. Um, but, uh, oh god. This is bad. Also delaying the reveal because of the tournament. Oh, is that what happened? So, I, I've known this was in the works for a while. Just because, like, you know, I work for a fighting game team. Um, apparently, I've heard that Street Fighter VI has sort of been... Um, how do I put this without getting in trouble? Uh, I guess I could just say what's out there publicly before. It has been restarted a few times. <laughs> the road has been bumpy. Um, development mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the game has been restarted a few times. Um, because of one person or another. So, we'll see what they come, uh, with the gameplay showcase. With the, with the, with their initial, uh, show off. I think they learned a lot with Street Fighter V, because remember, that was with the whole, like, they put it out with no, it was, it was just no story mode, right? I think it was versus only, um, incomplete, terrible mess, no content, yeah. And apparently it's really good now, but... Remember when Lupe Fiasco beat Daigo Umahara? <laughs> Good lord. Wasn't that scripted? I don't know. Are there, uh, do you think there's a video out there explaining it? Because I actually don't know. I remember these things always happen, and I'm like, I'm going to watch a 30-minute video about that one day. <laughs> you know? I'm, I I don't know what the story is right now, but in like three years, there will be a video on YouTube that I can consume. It was scripted. <laughs> They keep giving test copies to Punk and he's too OD and it's not fun for everyone else. Yeah, Punk just keeps shitting on them and, and talking some shit. They're like, okay, we're going to change it. He's like, nah, don't change it. You're only going to change it because I'm beating your ass. And then they're like, that's it. I'm changing it. I'm restarting the whole game. I don't want Punk to win. He is the alpha. Ryu on steroids? He always looks like this. Does he not normally look like this? Dude's jacked out of his fucking mind. This is how he looks. It is a bit wider. I'll give you that. <laughs> he is he is a bit stretched on the x-axis. I will make that concession. Imagine if it's, it's a reskin of an, a UFC game. I so my thing is like I've always wondered, can you reconcile the uh can you reconcile Street Fighter's, like, supernatural elements and make a more real game? You can't, right? Ryu's always going to have a magic fireball. You don't want to? Probably not. But, like, if this game is trying to be more realistic, you can't have fucking fireballs. Why would you want to? I'm not saying that you would. I'm saying that if your goal is to make it feel more, like, if, if their goal is to make it feel more grounded, is there a way to do that? If not, okay. But... It probably would suck. You're right. It looks as realistic as Tekken. That's true. Tekken kind of... Re oh, no. He's going crazy. Did you... Did you see that? The fish went off. Luke has sandblast? <laughs> Is that what Luke does? What are Luke's powers? Look at his face. Why is he so blocky? Dude, he's like a perfect block. This is a man who fights for a living. I saw somebody make a tweet that was like, Whoa, Capcom. 
uh, are you going to explain the fact that Ryu has a beard now? <laughs> Got a lot of comments. That was pretty funny. You're just going to drop bearded Ryu on us out of nowhere? I thought that was pretty good. Man. Yeah, the hair looks good. Dude, the RE engine is magic. Seriously. I love the RE engine. So much. All right, we got some games to play. Uh, I've actually got two games that I'm going to play tonight. Um, but first, uh, there's a video I want to watch. Uh, and I want to get on it now. So I can watch it currently. Gameplay? You'll see, it's later. I want to get on it currently so I can, I can, I can have it done. And because I feel like I gotta watch it early. Uh Awesome Sauce uploaded a new video. It's more Smash, I know. But I heard it's a good one. Melee is it's only six minutes. But the characters within the game are controlled on a 2D plane. Despite this discrepancy, Melee's extra dimension is normally reconciled quite well in game. Sometimes, though, moves exist in this third dimension in Dude. ways they probably shouldn't. This Here's editing is Yoshi insane. Omza getting fucked because of this. <laughs> Dude, uh, this is honestly nobody does it like him. This level of editing is unreal. Nobody packages stuff like this. Everybody's like, "How do you make good melee content like this?" Make it good! Holy shit! Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I just saw a video on that. Okay, what I'll is make happening a laugh. here, and can we fix it? Well, when it comes to moves existing in Melee's third dimension, Yoshi's dash grab is very <laughs> third dimensiony. Existing so Sorry, deep I saw into Yoshi. the positive or negative Z-axis that it pretty easily goes right around less chunky characters of the cast. However, while it's certainly not prudent or good design, it is faithful to Yoshi's actual dash grab animation, which has Yoshi's head going off to the side. <laughs> Fixing this Ew. is easy. All we have to do is That's move Yoshi's crazy. grab hitbox a few hundred units over so that it emerges more toward his center, rather than his head's actual position. Easy. So, you can't dash grab with Yoshi ever. You have to stop and shield? <laughs> On the other every end time? Z -axis That's brutal! Though, his head veering off to the sides does have its benefits. Both Yoshi's jump squat and landing fall special animation have Yoshi's head move to his left. Allowing a well-timed jump or wave dash from Yoshi to dodge projectiles like lasers, arrows, and shadows. Oh, that's balls. cool as hell! And even some non-projectiles as well. You would never want to do this, though, right? This looks risky as hell. You would never do this. This is a terrible idea. But it's cool. Oh, and this thing, too. <laughs> Yo, she's so weird. Let's talk about a different kind of dimension, though. The temporal dimension. Time. The developers didn't have a lot of it, and by virtue of that, some characters didn't get enough either. Uh huh. But smaller still, some moves just don't have enough time to complete. Such is the case with Falcon's Up Air, which has three distinct hitboxes, two of which are accessible in game, and one which is hidden from players forever what existing in the game's code but never actually appearing now what's interesting huh? is that it's impossible to tell if this hidden hitbox was truly accidental or not smash 64's falcon has three different functional accessible up air hitboxes but like melee brawl has two accessible hitboxes and one that's hidden while Smash 4 and Ultimate just have two outright. Uh -huh. Maybe they meant for it to be like this. Dude, this third one would be the most... Would this break Falcon? I feel like he would shoot up three spots off this. He he's Pikachu now. Right? 
Titman Falcon. I mean, yeah, you're just titmanning, right? Gannon has it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Isn't this crazy? Like, wouldn't Falcon just go off against Fox Falco just like this? It's like Pikachu. He could just knee. Can he? And you could just stomp, yeah. Well, I don't know, though. This feels more reliable and safer. I don't play melee. Blue of removing the last hitbox completely. I don't play melee. Just I don't hastily know. edited its starting frame to be beyond the active frames of the move. Or maybe a tired developer crashing from his 15th cup of coffee faced with an impending deadline erroneously changed up air's ending flag to be just one frame too early accidentally cutting off this third hitbox and this developer's small error went uncaught even in the game's sequel and because of this error two hitboxes instead of three just became the standard for falcons up air in every future title but that's just speculation Anyway, Ganondorf, Falcon's clone, does have access to the Okay, third he is the Tipman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Got known it. among community yep. members as the Tipman. Yeah. And you can't let a mid tier be better than a top tier in any regard, so let's give Falcon his hitbox. Like Yoshi's dash grab, fixing this is so easy a Marth main could do it. We simply add a few frames to the moves disable hitboxes flag, and there we go. Bro, see? See? That's what I just said. He's Pikachu now. How bro, I told you. I told you that's insane now. He shoots up th several spots. He could just back air. That No. This is safer. Up air is safer. Because up air is disjointed. Literally every area would be better. No! What are you talking about? Up air is more disjointed. I think. I don't play melee. It looks more disjointed, certainly. Look at his legs! Are you kidding me? That's better! D okay, chat's being contrarian here. You guys aren't competitive players. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. None of you guys know anything. <laughs> I forgot about that. I have a bunch of casuals and spectators here. That's better. That's Pikachu up air. You understand that, right? That's what Pikachu does. But longer. Wizzy would stomp. Could you stop? Can you stop during the up B? No, right? So you would have to go out there. Which is mad risky. Are you really going to go out there with stomp or back air? You guys are goofy, dude. Up air goes crazy there. No, you stomp on stage. Hey, here's another. Yeah, and that's a, no, 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 no. The stomp on stage is not guaranteed, though. You don't always hit that. You can do that, but it's not a guarantee. That up air is a guarantee. No mistake in melee. That makes him so much better. And here is Puff's Thank up you, Dex. Smash, which has two hitboxes, one inside the other. Now, these hitboxes are pretty much the same in terms of properties. Uh -huh. They both do the same knockback and launch their opponents at the same angle. Where they differ is that this outer hitbox does 14% and this inner one does 15 Also, this inner one is impossible to hit. Okay. Try and try, but under tournament rules, you'll never see a Puff's Up Smash do anything more than 14. Never? Without charging it, that is. This is due to Up Smash's hitbox IDs, numbers attributed to oh. different collision bubbles of the same move. Parts of the move with a lower hitbox ID, such as this outer hitbox, uh -huh. take priority over parts with higher values, like this inner hitbox. Meaning if two collision bubbles of the same move come this in contact with an opponent at the what? same time, only the effects of the higher priority bubble apply to the opponent. And because this stronger, lower priority bubble is entirely inside the weaker bubble, this strong hitbox may as well just not exist. This one seems like an say, honest mistake it, anyone if, could make. If Jigglypuff and is standing on a platform, can you jump into it? it? Just swap but no, because it covers the, the bottom, too. And strong parts of the move. 
And with that done, I've officially fixed every single issue in this game ever. So, goodbye. Wow. Forever. What? <laughs> what if this is his last video? Big thanks to Ben O. That he ever makes. Dude, he just leaves the internet now. That'd be so sad. I saw somebody on the Reddit saying, like, you know, if, if they did make it Melee HD, right? Let's say Nintendo goes off the goop and they make Melee HD. How do they make it? Right? Are you going to just put the exact same thing that was on GameCube? Do you make it the PAL version? Do you fix Game & Watch? Do you just rebuild it and then it's bad? RE Engine? Oh, dude, I would love that. I would kill for a beautiful melee. <laughs> Take all the soul out of it. Put it in Unreal. Gorgeous. Exact same thing, but add in ledge trumping. Oh my god. Would people play it? They actually might. That would be the meanest thing Nintendo could do. They put out the exact same game... But they add, like, footstools or something. They just add in one small thing that just changes everything. <laughs> I think ledge trumping is the best best one, though. Rage? <gasps> oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> Marth players are pissed. You can't kill somebody until 140, and then they just... Fox hits you with up air, and you die at 60. Oh, man. That's good. I love that. I love that idea. Everything is the same, but Shine is frame two. Dude, that's the problem Nintendo has, dude. Even if they put out Melee HD, which is the holy grail, right? People are going to be pissed about it. I think their best option would be to, allow, to, to turn on GameCube Virtual Console and add Melee Online. But we both know how that would go. We do, we both know how the online would be. Which is not good. You know what's insane too? <laughs> so I, I saw this. Uh, I saw this. Uh, which got announced yesterday. And it got me thinking about Nintendo because, like, Capcom put out something called the Capcom Fighting Collection, which is coming in June. 35 years of Capcom fighting games. Five Darkstalkers games. I didn't know there were this many. I legitimately didn't know there were this many. Uh, con Cyberbots? Never heard of it. Red Earth, which I only know because of the arcade cab sometimes playing. It looks neat. Uh... And then what is this? This is Turbo? I don't know what this... I don't know why Turbo is a big deal. Puzzle Fighter, whatever. Like, it's fascinating to me that it feels like Capcom has to do this. While well, Nintendo just doesn't give a shit. You know what I mean? Nintendo could, could theoretically put out Smash 64, Melee, and Brawl. All with online, with rollback. You know, concept art, settings, stuff like that. But they don't need to. They can sort of sit on it forever if needed. They have this back catalog they never have to dip into. Rank casual and lobby matches like... Nintendo is allergic to being consumer friendly. I don't even know if that's it. I just think that like Capcom's brand identity is so firmly entrenched in fighting games. It's Street Fighter. Uh, I, I think way less people know them for their other stuff. Mega Man, Resident Evil. Like, obviously those are big, but like... They have maybe three franchises, right? Monster Hunter? You're right, Monster Hunter's bigger than I thought. Yeah. And honestly, Mega Man go down, I think. I feel like Mega Man's stock is like... <laughs> Devil May Cry? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. My point is that... They only have so many cards in their deck. And it feels like Nintendo doesn't... 
they have so many different cards that they can play them at, at like once every few years. It's been like 10 years since we got a Mario soccer game. Why? Because we could get two new tennis games, a new golf game, several parties, a, a, a cart or two, right? So they have so many different things that they can play, which means they're never going to come back to like Smash Brothers. Why would they ever put out a Smash collection? They are suffering from success. If the new Animal Crossing didn't make as much goddamn money as it does, maybe they would put out a Smash collection, but they don't have to. Apparently, that's what happened to Square. Square, uh... Square was sitting on Final Fantasy VII forever. And then eventually they had to drop it. The remake. Because, like, they're like, fuck it, we can't hold on to this card much longer. And eventually, I feel like if they didn't drop it, it would have fizzled out. Because... As that generation ages, eventually people are going to be like, I don't give a shit about this. This is boomer shit. And now they're stretching it on as long as they can. You know, several different iterations, but... Fucked up the remake so hard, too. Did they? I thought it was pretty good. I like the remake. But I'm not a 7, like, super fan or anything. Oh, dude, I beat Earthbound. I didn't tell you guys this. I beat Earthbound. Uh, fun game. Uh, thank God for Rewind. I put this out. I've been ranking games that I play now with this. I love this, by the way. This is amazing. Uh, highly recommend you play it with Rewind. Cheater? Absolutely. Thank God for that. Cheating is so good for this game. Cheating is, is necessary. There is an enemy near the end of the game. Hold on. This little turd. This piece of shit. This little bastard. Basically, what he'll do is he's very weak. So, all you have to do is hit him three times. But if he moves faster than you do, he wipes your entire team in one move. Fuck that. No. I'm going to keep rewinding and I'm going to do different stuff until he doesn't wipe my team. I'm not going back. It's dumb. There's another enemy. This son of a bitch. The Ghost of Starman. What he does near the end of the game, at the beginning of your fight, every single time, at the beginning of your fight, he immediately casts Starstorm. Starstorm wipes your team. Except for Ness. He just kills everybody on your team. The way that you can beat him is by having Paula cast Shield. On everybody. The problem is if Paula isn't fast enough, you don't get to move. So she he wipes your team before you get to move. So I went back in time and I put a rabbit's foot on Paula to make her fast because a guide told me to do it. Thank God for guides. If you don't cheat in Earthbound, it is a 90 hour game. Because they just throw these dumbass enemies at you. Dude, the, the, the American version of this game came with the guide. My friend owned it, actually, in high school. He loved this game. Y you, you have to do it. It's a fun game. I encourage you all to play it. But uh, go, in, go in with your eyes open. Don't be stubborn. <laughs> what is this? KFC did not post an image of a drumstick for Black History Month. I did see... Did you guys see the picture? There's a... There's an image... This. Wait, Keith! You were the one that spread it? Keith! Did Keith tweet that? Yes, he did! But I didn't know he was the original! Keith! What are you doing?! By the way, look at the look at the eye here. That's what kills me. Who, the colonel? There's no way. Oh, there is. If this wasn't Keith, I would think that this is a troll. I think Keith just didn't look up where this came from. <laughs>
So he saw something and said, that happened. I don't think Keith knew this was fake. <laughs> I don't see Keith as a as a as a as a bait master. You know what I mean? I don't see him as that type. Dude. Man. He got on Rooters. The image was shared by the Instagram account of KFC Trinidad and Tobago on 2020 to mark emancipation day. Wait, what? While the picture was once used by a regional KFC account, the tweet shown in the screenshot is not authentic. Wait, so what? Wait, 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 wait. They posted the image. That means that it's real. What? <laughs> it's fact. It's fact. That happened. Unbelievable. Keith wins. <laughs> yeah, that means that Keith saw this in the past. He saw this in the past and and th thought it was the Black History Month thing. He was wrong, but like I can't blame him. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago, what is going on? That is goofy. Holy shit. Absurd. Okay. I got a game for you. I found a game on the internet and I had to play it. Now, stop me if you've heard this one. Your boss is coming over and you want to impress him with an unforgettable luncheon. But something goes awry. What should you do? Why? The answer can be found in a video game based on the hit show The Simpsons. The Graphic Adventure. For you see, Superintendent Chalmers will be here soon and we must prepare him a great meal. Hopefully a roast. Uh, walk to door, open door. <laughs> well, Seymour, I made it, <laughs> despite your directions. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Even the, v even the opening line is I funny to me. I'm prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. Yeah. All right, let's check on the roast. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Oh, you got <laughs> My roast is ruined. Maybe there's something in the fridge I could use. Yeah, that's no help. Hmm. The freezer? Yeah, nuts. Hmm. Bad chance. <laughs> Not feeding him detergent? He would fire me. What do I tell him? Can I talk to him? Uh, hello, I'm Principal Skinner. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, hello, I'm, uh... I'm uh can I not talk to him anymore? Oh, I see. I was still on talk to. I hope you're prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. Okay, he he's not much for for talking. Hmm. What's this door? I actually don't know. Is this where my mom is? I'm afraid we're stuck here for the duration. <laughs> they didn't know what to put there. <laughs> They had to add some line of dialogue. Can I use the chair? Can I sit? No. Oh, okay. Well, I, I wanted to try at least. He's so direct. Just answer my question immediately. Yeah, that's no help. All right. I should probably turn that off. My roast is ruined. Can I turn it off? Use oven. 
Use oven. My roast is ruined. Can I close of no? Pick up oven? No. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. We open the window. Uh, look at window. But what if? <laughs> hmm. What if I were to serve the burnt roast? Uh, oh, he doesn't like that. What if I were to tell the truth? Uh. Hmm. Heat up some leftovers. Uh, I were to purchase fast food and ah, disguise that does it seem, as my own cooking. That does seem like the logical oh, oh, idea. Oh, oh, oh. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. That is a bright idea. It's not a bad idea. Let's let's go. How do I use the window? Is that it? Yep, there you go. Uh-oh. No way. <laughs> they thought of it. Is he going to say it? Seymour! <laughs> Superintendent, I was just... He said it! Hmm... I don't think I should tell him the truth. I was just stretching on the windowsill. That seems like the right option. Just stretching my calves on the windowsill. Mm-hmm. Wonderful exercise. Isometric exercise. Care to join me? Why is there smoke coming out of your oven, Seymour? Uh-oh. Ooh, that's a tough one. <laughs> I want to play Honest Seymour. I would love to play as Honest Paragon Seymour. I burnt the roast. Uh-oh. Oh, that isn't smoke. Okay, he won't it's do it. Steam. He won't do steam it. From the steamed clams I'm going to get a bad rating on this mm. mission. Steam claims. Look at his face. I'm going to get an, a, 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 a D on this. I'm not doing anything right. All right. Let's sneak out the window. Oh, I don't get to go to Krusty Burger? I use hamburgers? Wait, I have to plate them. Do I have plates? Yeah, that's no help. Where are my dishes? Uh, I can't just bring the bag out there. He's gonna know. <laughs> Superintendent, I hope you're ready for mouth-watering hamburgers. I... That's not true to the I cartoon. I thought we were having steamed clams. Steamed yam, steamed lamb, steamed uh, spit. I like that the correct option is always the first one, so you don't have to waste any time. No, Get no, right into it. I said steamed hams. That's what I call hamburgers. You call hamburgers steamed hams? Yes. It's a regional dialect. Uh huh. Uh, what region? <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. Uh, I was gonna say. I wish there was more really? to it. Well, I wish there were more to the I've questions. Never heard anyone use the phrase steamed hams? Oh, not in Utica. No, it's an Albany expression. I see. This is a cute little game. They thought of everything. You know, these hamburgers are quite similar to the ones they have at Krusty Burger. Oh, oh, oh no. Patented Skinner Burgers. <laughs> Old I wish there recipe. were fail states. For steamed hams. You could make yes. it so there's yeah. a fail you state and something bad happens, right? The fact they are it's like a 10 well. minute game. You know, the one thing I should. Excuse me for one second. Of course. <laughs> Wait, do I have to turn the oh, oven no. off? Okay, no. Okay, we're going to let it burn. That's true. All, it does yes, have to burn down. Good Lord, what is happening in there? <laughs> I love Honest Seymour. I wish I could be this third guy. That's who I am deep in my heart. Aurora Borealis? Uh, Aurora Borealis. At this time of year. If I could just be honest day, here, you know? In this part of the country, localized entirely within your kitchen. Yes. May I see it? No. He should have offered me the option there. I should have had choices. <laughs> Pacifist Coney. I just want to play this game my way. No, mother, it's just the northern light. Not well, mine, Seymour, but cool twist on steamed hams. There's no such say, thing. You steam a good ham. There's no Ow! such thing as a cool twist. I've been getting a lot of uh, cuphead poops lately. Probably because I streamed the game and I watched the show. Uh, which which 
is obnoxious. It's so bad. It's so bad. All of them are terrible. Oh, I won. That was pretty easy, dude. I thought there'd be more to it. I could probably make one of these, right? How hard could it be? You only have a couple things that you have to do. Restart? <laughs> Why would I restart? Alright, I beat games. Alright, I beat the game. Wait, I, I should have said... I should have made that clear. Cuphead YouTube poop. Like, like a YouTube video, uh, an absurdist comedy about Cuphead. I should have made that clear <laughs> when I said it. I should have said that s sooner. Speed run it? Okay, hold on. Let's get a timer up. Wait, no, because all of it's going to be the dialogue, right? Can I skip the dialogue? If I can skip the dialogue, then yes. Well, done. Oh, hell yeah. Go. <laughs> you just have to click like crazy. Uh, can I go to the window first? Oven skip. Oven skip. Just go out. Okay, you can't go outside. So you have to open the oven to discover the roast is ruined. Oh, you got Yep. My roast is ru Use window. Use window. What if I were to just go? No, go. Now, can I skip this cutscene? Dude, this is like a minute loss. Yes! Okay. Uh, clams. Done. Use here. Use, go. Dude, you can beat this pretty quick. Go. Go to door. Go to door. Go to door! Why is he looking at me? Burgers on table. Dude, I could beat this in a minute. <laughs> I I could probably beat this in one minute. Speedrun.com slash hams. Wait, is this real? <gasps> Seymour, 17 sec 17 seconds oh, mother, just the northern lights well Seymour you are an odd fellow but I must say what the fuck a good ham. how Help! Help! oh this dude is clicking this dude is clicking. Hold on. Google uh, timer. Okay, so you just have to click like a fucking madman. That's what it is. Okay. Um. Auto clicker? I mean, I can click fast. I can click fast. Okay. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try really quick. Not to be that guy, Coney, but it's all of Steamed Hams reanimated with every scene being a oh, different style. That. It's really cool. I. I did see that. I saw- I've seen that way in the past. It looked pretty cool. Especially because it's a shorter scene, so like, you can get a bunch of things on it. It's not like a whole movie. Whenever I see like a whole movie being animated, I'm like, oh god. Hold on. Uh... Okay. Wait, this is wrong. Stopwatch. Okay. I don't think I could get 17 seconds, but I could get 30, right? Surely. Oh my god, 30 seconds. Jesus Christ. Uh, 17 seconds, 21 seconds. I could be number 3 on the board, at least. If not better. Alright. Okay. I gotta hit start and click the button at the same time you have to start with the restart yeah hold on I'm gonna start this will be like a second off because I have to start the uh, I have to start the timer and then go so three two one go go to the door open the door open the door Nope. Open. Oven. Go. 
Come on. My roasted. I would have dope. Nope. Use the window. I think I'm already over time, right? No, go! Oh, you have to right-click? Why do I have to right-click? Okay, so you have to right-click to skip the seam. I didn't know that before. Dude, I'm at 40 seconds?! How did he beat it faster?! What the fuck?! No, use it. Um... Uh, really? Well, I need to know. Dude, I'm I'm clicking. Time, I guess. I don't fuck, dude. How did he do it faster? Is he skipping stuff? He's auto clicking. He's auto clicking. He's auto clicking. He has to be. That's insane. No, he's cheating. This dude's fucking cheating. I'm not I'm not gonna soup to that level. It's disgusting. That's so gross, dude. What the fuck? Skip opening the oven? Is that what he did? Whatever. His mouse wheel clicking. Yeah, it's untraceable. Oh, uh, by the way, really quick. Um, really quick. Uh, no stream Friday. So I said Friday stream instead of Thursday because of Elden Ring. But actually, hold on. Hold on. I have something to show you. I don't know if you guys saw this. This is crazy. So, for some reason, Elden Ring is releasing on Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern? What? Why? That means PC on the West Coast is at 3 p.m. Dude. If I called out of work on Friday... To play this game, and then it turns out, oh, I actually had to do it on Thursday. I'd be mad as hell. I'd be so angry. Yeah, if you bought a console version, you actually got Omega cucked. This is bad. Especially if you got a physical console version. Because you can't even download it digitally, but I guess you knew that, right? So yeah, I'll be playing this on Thursday stream, and Thursday is starting early. Because I'm starting this right away. Coney, will you be using the Guitar Hero controller? I can barely beat it with a normal one. <laughs> you know that. I can barely beat this shit with a normal controller. Don't think that's the case. Oh, by the way, I have a, uh, I have a bounty for Lost Ark, so we're gonna do that sometime. <laughs> be ready. <laughs> I don't know when. Probably tomorrow? Yeah. I'm going to be giving it a shot for an hour. Tomorrow is probably also Factor Opinion. We need to bring that back. I need to build up a bit of a, of a buffer because I'm going to be at Summit next week for a whole week. So, so Factor Opinion, I have another video type that I think I'm going to do tomorrow, maybe? I don't know. There's always good old mojo, maybe, but we'll see. Coney, what happened to Hunger Games? I, you know what? The Hunger Games videos did them exceptionally well. What else can you do with them, dude? What else am I supposed to do with it? It's 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 done. How do you make that interesting? It's the same thing over and over. Right? Like, you could always do something like, oh, these are the characters that didn't get into Smash. Gino, Rayman, whatever. But it's like, you can't... How do you keep iterating? I think it's it's funny. It's a funny gimmick once. But people watched them three times on my channel. People loved it. And people were commenting like, not going to lie, I could watch this th this be your whole channel. I'm like, oh my god. This is the audience I've cultivated. Terrifying. 
surprised you did it three times. Hey, people liked it. I don't know. Coney, did you ever play Def Jam? No, actually. I need to do that. Probably not this week, though. Because tonight is, uh, we're doing some stuff. Tomorrow is YouTube. Thursday is, uh, Elden Ring. So. Kind of like Salty Bet without the live element. Dude, somebody DM'd me, uh, Salty Bet with, but with Iron Games in League. And I'm like, I'm not watching that. <laughs> People would hate that. I love it, personally. There's no way I could stream that. People would hate that, but it does sound funny. It does sound funny. <laughs> I would like to watch it. Okay. All right. I want to watch a video. I do have a game that I'm going to try the demo of tonight. But first, I got to watch something. There's been a video that has been sitting in my recommended for a while. And uh, I haven't had an excuse to watch it until now. For you see, this video <laughs> is very topical. It is the story of Street Fighter, the greatest bad movie ever made. I've seen this movie. There's a Street Fighter movie from the 90s starring Jean-Claude Van Damme and Raul Julia. And I, I have to know. I have to know how it went. I, 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 I haven't seen this actual video. So, Kylie Minogue? Kylie Minogue is in this movie? Is she Cammy? The only thing I remember about this movie is there's a part in the movie where... Uh, some people are in a tank. I think Zangief and Dalsim and some other people are in a tank. And there's something coming at them, like about to blow them up. And they can see it on the monitor. And Zangief says, Quick, change the channel! <laughs> that's a very funny joke. That's a very funny joke. I, that's... Hold on, let me see if I can find it. <laughs> it's a good... Oh, it, it's right here. Okay, yeah. That was beautiful. Why is DJ a bad guy? Which makes it all the more incredible when you consider that the months of filming Street Fighter were the final months. I thought he was of a Julia's good guy, life. right? He basically arrived on set. I remember right after E Honda being a bad guy too, must have right? Been an is... Incredible pain throughout the entire production. And despite it all, why is Zangief a bad guy? Zangief is a bad guy, right? And did all of his own stunts. Balrog is a good guy. But even oh, more really? amazing is the <laughs> okay. apocryphal story behind why Raul Julia, this highly respected and distinguished actor, took the role of M. Bro, Bison you guys spoiled place. it for me. My children play the video game, and as soon as I mentioned uh, um, the, the, the title of the film, uh, all of a sudden their, their faces lit up. Oh. He took the role for one reason, and one reason only. He loved his kids. Oh, man. His two children, Raul and Benjamin, loved the Street Fighter games. He did it as a present for them, his dying gift. At the end of his life, all he wanted was to be a good father to his sons. Dude, this is sad. I thought this was going to be more about what the movie was like, not just the... A sad thing about Raul the Julia. The kind of bad movie is the cynical kind. The Man, soulless cash grab, I'm sad. the needless and unnecessary sequel, the reboot remake that nobody asked for. But the best kind of bad movie is enjoyable for the same reason a good movie is. There's an obvious dedication and love of the craft on the part of the people who made it. That kind of soul always shines through, no matter how schlocky or tasteless the finished product is. Kill the kill. Also, Woo! the footage I'm showing right now is entirely My parents ran into Jean-Claude Van Damme in bar in Atlanta celebrating some movie shot nearby in North Carolina called Cyborg. Uh -huh. Movie was apparently ass and almost no one knew who Jean-Claude was, but he bought everyone drinks and they said he was pretty dope. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I wonder what that's like to be like a movie star like Jean-Claude Van Damme and walk into a bar and nobody goes crazy or knows who you are. Who's the guy? Oh, Steven Seagal. Everybody says Steven Seagal is a piece of shit. Everybody hates Steven Seagal. K 
kill a kill saved anime it's campy is it are there campy anime i always thought anime was so earnest and upfront except for like i don't know fully coolie or something it's pure camp okay i you're not gonna win me over you're not gonna win me over on this here we go camp la cam that's a good one yeah don't listen to these degenerates. It sucks. Thanks, Will. You snapped me out of my hypnotism. I almost looked at anime. <laughs> oh! You! I'm saved. <laughs> Ask Jacob. Dude, Alfred has been trying to get me on One Piece. I've read like three chapters because he's my friend, and I'm like, I can't. It was a good three chapters. I will I will admit that what I read was good and I could see how people could like it. But I was also like eh, I don't know. I dropped KLK after one episode BC the show ludes its teenage characters. Right, well, I'm not even gonna touch that. Uh One Piece I, I as far as I could tell, it was just like, you know, I love my friends, my friends are so important with me to me. I love my friendship, you can't beat me without my friends. When I'm with my friends, I'm so powerful, that kind of thing. I'm not. Fat, no thanks. Street Fighter may never get a release in the Criterion Collection, but that doesn't mean it isn't every bit as enjoyable and worthwhile. If I'm like going to watch any anime, it's going to be ping pong. Street Fighter Because I hear it's good. Find meaning because I'm a even fucking Smash player. <laughs> in the most unlikely places. That's the only one people like. Oh, that's it. Okay, well, this was not the video I thought it would be. I will be honest. I thought it was going to be a little different than that. I thought it was going to talk more about the movie. <laughs> but okay. You know, uh, I learned a lot about Raul Julia and the saddest story I've ever heard. Not a bad movie, I guess. Sure. So you're not angry? Watch Mojo has the top 10 angriest animated characters. <laughs> what? I don't want to fall down the Watch Mojo hole again. I really don't. I don't. We've already done it. I'm just curious. Top 10 times Batman has beaten up the Joker. Top 30 best Naruto Uzumaki fights. <laughs> 30? 30 times that's happened? What? Oh, I watched this one on my own time. Can you guess what number one is? Can you guess what number one is? Top 10 in 64 games that age badly. Goldeneye. Yep, it's Goldeneye. It's definitely Goldeneye. Wait, what's riddle me this, Batman? Is it a riddle? Are they posting riddles? One last riddle. There are five little items of an everyday sort. You'll find us all in the house with all four sides facing north. Never mind. A bear walks past the house. It can be cruel. To I thought these were actual riddles, but no, we're just doing an activation. Oh, speaking of, of ads, dude, so Mal and I were watching something today, and this showed up on my screen. I can't believe this. Guys. <laughs> I can't believe this. Uh... There is a new... <laughs> oh, God. I don't even know how to introduce this. Uh, here you go. Batman can fight crime, but only you can bring home the Batman calzone from Little Caesars with pizza and calzone crust. So you tell us, who's the real hero? Walk in and walk out with the Batman calzone and see the... What the fuck? There's a Batman pizza. Dude, this came on my screen, and I thought it was like a like an SNL joke. It looks like shit. Yeah, dude, I just can't. I can't. I know it's just me. I know my brain is corrupted. This just looks like a mouth and an asshole. I can't look at this like a pizza. This looks like a worm. I feel like I could wrap it up. Like I, I pull up the sides, and then it's just like a grub. With one end to eat and the other end to shit. 
I don't know why I think of it that way. When I look at this, I can't think of it any other way. Am I alone? I feel like this is a dissected grub. Like you, you found a, a mealworm, and you put it on a table, and you... With a scalpel, and you open it up. Pepperoni inside of plenty. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, right? Truly you do. Nameless Gamer. See, he gets it. Yeah, I'm glad that we can all agree. I'm glad that we all agree on this. I just don't... It's a regular pizza, and they folded the corners to make it a calzone. Well... Oh, it is, isn't it? <laughs> so wait, so it's a, it's a, <laughs> so it's a, <laughs> so it's a normal pizza. It's a normal pizza, but you take two of the slices and you fold them up and then you tape them. How do you get them to close? How do you do that? Coney, I look at this and see a spaceship, not an asshole. Okay, so I'm looking at this from, like, a biological perspective. You are looking at this from a science fiction perspective. Two equally valid takes. I'm just a little bit more grounded. I just can't... I, I don't... This looks like an animal to me. This looks like something that would be in Darwin's journal that died hundreds of years ago. <laughs> e Compton gifted six months of subs. Thank you, man. A whole six months. Jeez. It's a bat? I don't want to eat an animal pizza. I'm not I'm not really into that. You eat animal style in and out? No, I don't I have never tried that. The last time somebody ate a bat, we got... <laughs> I got... A, sorry, I had a talk with someone. Someone shot me a message there. I didn't want to... Uh, I'm sorry, I went a little bit too far on that one. My bad. Thank you, Silver P, for the five gifted. I appreciate it. I just, I can't eat this. I, I would, I would feel sick to my stomach eating this. Even if it does look like a bat, I, I don't know. Do I have any water? No, I should have brought water. Never mind. Sub reward for Coney to eat this? I mean, it's just pizza, right? I'm sure it tastes fine, but I don't know, dude. Did, did you guys see this in bat chest? Seriously, you see the Batman pizza and you're like, oh my god, boggers. She's fucking... Calzoni. Why is it a calzoni? What does that even mean? That's not even like a pun or anything. I lulled. <laughs> I lulled too, actually. I did. I will say that. When I saw this, I was like, what the fuck is Little Caesars doing? Because I, I, I... They show this... Bat they don't say it's Batman. Th this isn't the ad that I got. Man can fight crime. But it didn't say anything about Batman. So it showed me this pizza, and I audibly said, What the fuck is that? And Mallory said, Don't cuss in front of our baby. By the way, I did. I did cuss in front of our baby. I was playing Earthbound when I was watching uh, Juliet one day, and uh, I ran into that Starman guy I talked about earlier, and, Ju and Mal was at rehearsal. And I said, Fuck. And she was going around the house saying, fuck, fuck, fuck. I was like, really bad. Really bad. I need to stop, dude. It's hard. It's hard. I got to find like other words to say or just not do it as much. Does this not look disgusting to you like okay let's not look at the other part does this not look gross this looks like something on ogrish right yep maxi pad i don't know <laughs> too far
Too far. Too far. No. Does, well, I'm not a woman, so I don't... Maybe. I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I just... It doesn't look good. The one that I saw said nothing about Batman, so this showed up on my screen, and I was shocked. That looks like Detroit-style pizza. No, Detroit-style pizza is good. It's based off this. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god, there are more commercials. Let the pizza be the hero. Imagine Watchmojo doing a list 25 years into the future when they've run out of ideas. That's literally top 10 no. time COVID went beast mode on mankind. No, they would do like a top 10 worst things, worst diseases. I bet they already have. You know, Spanish flu, COVID, the plague is number one. I'm sure that exists. Little Caesar sneak peek of the Batman. Wait! <laughs> This is the actual... Dude, this has 12 billion views? Batman can fight crime. I didn't know this was so big. This pizza was so good, it brought my dad back with the milk. God, this is, is so... Just... D d missing dad jokes are just the lowest, easiest, and everybody in chat is laughing. It it's so easy. It's so simple. I tried the Batman Calzone meal deal today, and I really enjoyed it. We are thrilled to hear you loved it. Oh. <laughs> you say, Apparently, there are other people with the same thoughts that you had. You are not alone here. Mm. Is this you? Did you do that? looks pretty good I'm not gonna lie it looks like a menstrual pad <laughs> three people three people now what is this what is this link everybody's posting Batman <laughs> oh no oh no Batman Batman something terrible has happened in Gotham City oh god no way! Batman, no! The pizza bearing your name looks like shit! <laughs> oh, this is definitely the Joker's fault. The Joker has his Little Caesars uniform on. <laughs> oh, they'll get a bat pizza, all right. Their pizza will be bat shit insane! Folding up the sides... Putting pepperoni all like under the pizza. <laughs> oh God, dude! Those are labia. Yeah, this th this pizza is an Audi. <laughs> this pizza is definitely an Audi. Uh, it looks fine. Shut up. <laughs> you come on. Let's be honest. Relax. Now I see the asshole pizza. Do you? Do you see it now? You need to enhance a little bit. You get it now? Do you get it? Have you eaten it? No. I literally just heard about it tonight. <laughs> 10,000... Oh, wait. 1,000 bits. Could you say this in a British accent? I don't know why I, I I don't know where what you're gonna use my voice for. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I don't, ten dollars is not enough for my cameo. I don't know what that I don't know what that means. I'm nervous. I mustn't. No, no, my cameo is at least fifty. I'm not doing it. No way. How much is this? Eight bucks. Eight bucks. Maybe I'll try this on stream tomorrow. I'll try the Batman pizza. Seems rather heroic. Why are we getting stun locked by the Batman pizza, dude? Oh, this shit. I hated this, too. Slices and stick. I don't know why this freaks me out so much. It's like in Mother 3 with, like, the animals in the, in the, 
the the robots, like the chimeras. I just don't like this. Oh, you guys agree with me. Yeah, you guys don't like that either. Yeah. Yeah, dude, it's bad. It's uncanny, right? Coney hates seeing pizza modified. I really do. I don't know what it is. Pizza has to be normal. Just just set. And not in all way, like, Cody, what do you feel about pineapple on pizza? Is it a sin against God? Like, that, that not that corny shit. Pineapple on pizza is fine. Tastes fine. But, like, when you do stuff like this, these two things shouldn't be together. Thank you, Paprika, by the way. Pineapple on pizza is fine. It's, it's, so is anything else. This whole, like, it's, it's a manufactured, I hate manufactured social media bits. Like, if you think milk should go in before cereal, unfollow us now. Nobody thinks that. Ten people on the fucking planet think that. More people will troll and bait and say that. It's like, it's not, that's not normal. Canned peaches on pizza. I'm processing it. No, because they're too juicy. Yeah, there is too much juice on it. I don't think you could do it. Too sweet? Uh, eh, not if you dice the peaches. If they're like really small pieces, it's not too bad. I could see it. If you dice the peaches into... It's not like you're getting entire peaches, dude. Like a full one. Banana pizza? No, but I've heard popcorn pizza is good. Which sounds terrible to me. But apparently that's a good thing. That sounds normal? Maybe it is. I don't know. It's probably... <laughs> oh my god... Oh, man, not him. Not this guy. Oh, man. There's a shirt of it. The Batman calzone from Little Caesars might make you feel like Batman, but could you really be the Batman? Never mind, but ordering the Batman Calzone will make you feel the Batman. This guy's a TikTok star? Are these all TikTok the stars? Calzone from Little Caesars might make you feel like Batman. Oh my god! But could you really be... <laughs> the Batman who laughs underscore. Be the Batman. What the fuck? These are Batman super fans on TikTok. Sounds more like the Joker. Yeah. I think I think he got his name wrong. The Batman who laughs, I Batman doesn't laugh, so it's not something he does. I don't think I've ever seen Batman laugh. Maybe as Bruce Wayne, but must not be a big comic fan. I don't know who this is. That's the Joker. <laughs> Why'd you send me the Joker? The Joker paints his nails? Huh. Guess that makes sense. He does put on makeup. I, I don't know why I think it'd be a stretch for him to paint his nails. I don't know. <laughs> that makes sense, you know? <laughs> he laughs at the end of the killing joke. He does! He does! I forgot about... Oh, that's blood. Got it. Okay. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he used his nails to, to scratch somebody, and that's their blood. Yeah. Sure. That's Batman. No, that's the Joker. You can tell because of the, the smile, and he's laughing like the Joker does. So, you know. <laughs> I can't believe this is... I, Dude, I saw this tonight, and it blew my Bring mind. They have a whole playlist for the Batman Calzone. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even realize this movie was coming out soon. Wait, there was one other. There was one other 
Watch Mojo video, which I was sort of interested in. Top 10 most dangerous animals in Africa. Oh, shit. I love animals. Repeat? No. I've seen top 10 most dangerous... Wait, number one's mosquito, isn't it? Number one's gonna be a mosquito. I don't want to watch that. I did want to see this. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, dude. Top okay. 20 cult classic games? Oh, shit! I want to watch title, that. Mr. Ryland. The entire chatting what? estate will sue you for libel. Yeah, okay. Expect a call from our lawyers. I don't expect anybody named Justin Chatting to have any amount of money. <laughs> Nice try. I can't Yahoo! afford a better lawyer than you. I'm a millionaire. The Tad's pre-production was literally just here's an unfunny ERM. I mean funny punchline with no context. Like every ad that tries to be funny. I feel like, no, I feel like the TikTok guy came up with it. He was just like, hey, what if there were a bunch of, like, bad guys, and I acted like I was going to fight them, and then I did. Dude, top 20 dumbest family feud fails. I have to watch that. This is what I wanted to see. Top 10 biggest pop culture conspiracy theories. Nicolas Cage is a fucking vampire? Huh? What the fuck? Coney, we're playing two games tonight. <laughs> Smile is also Coney. No, I, Let's I, watch videos <laughs> and watch Mojo I'm sorry, and play I just, a transmedia version of Steam Dams. I'm stuck on this. Poor knockoff Pikmin. I'm stuck on this, dude. When I get on, down the watch Mojo hole, I can't get out. I'm stuck. I already did one game. <laughs> Look how sad he is. Hold on. Let me see if I can get... Oh, top 20 insane NBA All-Star dunks. We've seen this, right? The top 10 dunks or whatever. Cheer 20,000. Please give me your best British accent. Zoink, Scoob. Let's get back to the mystery van. <laughs> Why British Shaggy? What kind of accent? Posh or Cockney? Hmm? There's so many ways to be British. Cockney? <laughs> Sorry, Scoob. Let's get on back in a mystery vein. <laughs> it's a little bit deeper. I should, I, if, I'm, if I'm shaggy, I should be higher. Sorry, Scoob. Let's get on back to the mystery vein. I wasn't bad. I could do better. Zoink, <sighs> Scoob! Let's get back to the mystery vein! Done. Three take Terry. There you go. Second take was perfect. There you go. Mal's gonna be like too loud. Stop being cockney shaggy. Sorry, honey. I'm sorry. There, I gave you three there. Like you're drunk and weigh 50 pounds more. More. Blunt scoop. Let's get back to the mystery vein. How's that? Blunt uh, scoop. Let's get back. <laughs> That's 150 pounds more. It's, I, I can't do my voice on a sliding scale. That's hard. Thank you, Wet R. Wote, for the prime. What the hell did I just come in on? That's, you know what you came in on? A prime gaming hype train. That's right. Obi next door. There it is. Fellas, I haven't done it all night. I just got to ask you. Go ahead and take a look. If you've got a prime, just go below the stream. It would mean the world to me. This channel is only sustained by your support. Now more than ever is the time for you to reach below the stream, click continue sub or subscribe to the first time, and find it within your heart to give something to the Coney channel. Saitaro Silver has resubscribed for 12 months with a prime. Love to see it. Everybody, if you could just find it in your soul, Takashi Zero, like that young man there, thank you so much. Incredible. It means the world to us. Truly, all of us can get through this era together of having... I did it again. I clicked on Silver Gunner. He's flintstones -ing.
How does this always happen to me? I literally just search smiles and tears and this one comes up. This is so stupid, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna block him so this never happens again. Alright, let me see. Let me see. Cause we do have to come up with a content buffer. Thank you, Cast Iron Skillet. Uh Soul the Kunj. It's an ugly name. <laughs> Thank you for the prime though. Um let me see, because we do need a content buffer, because I'm going to be at Summit for a week. Let me see. I usually watch Mojo is three to four videos. So, one, maybe two. Three. Four. Yeah, there's five here. We can do stuff with this. Yeah, okay, we can watch one tonight. We can watch one right now. Okay, I got I got to see the family feud. That was really Cuz this good. one wouldn't really make it in a in a in a video, I don't think. This wouldn't be a great YouTube video. So, we'll watch more Watch Mojo sometime. I'm sorry. Welcome to Watch Mojo. Maybe and Sunday. Today, I don't we're know. counting down our no, picks Elden, for Elden the top Ring is Sunday. Whatever. Family feud we'll do this fails. and then we're playing Tiny Kid. That most men exaggerate. Hold on. Okay. This then Tiny Kid. For real. More games. 100 of this popular <laughs> survey themed game show. Which of these responses made you laugh She's the most? spinning, honestly. Let us know in the comments. She's spinning. I do number exaggerate 20, that Yogi. number a lot. The story of Goldilocks and the three bears is one of the most enduring fairy tales That's accurate. ever crafted. So when, when they be asking me my number, I say 100 every one of time. The three bears during the fast money round, it should have been easy. <laughs> Why do they love the Simpsons, dude? However, he seemed to forget all about the common fairy tale and quickly responded, Yogi. One of the three bears. Yogi. Hey. <laughs> round was soon interrupted by everyone from the contestant you with can a cut background the background to the studio audience all guffawing. Host Richard Dawson even got in a wisecrack about how the competitor was quote, it's flying airplanes for us. While this contestant may be good at flying actual planes, you don't have planes, to, you don't have to explain it. Just go on to the next burned. one. It's fine. Okay, I get it. Okay, it's funny. Yogi. Do kids know who Yogi Bear is? I'm biased toward base mage, but do you think base mage can make summit top four if he has a good pool? Probably not. The issue that I had is that every base mage is a random encounter that might show up in your bracket, but you don't practice for him because you have a one in 500 shot of playing him at any major. If you know he's going to be there and one of the 16 players, you're going to practice puff. You're going to know one thing to do to beat puff. I think base mage is going to struggle, but I also think that he's good. So I think he might be able to do well, but good luck. Seems hard. I feel like kids wouldn't know any Hanna-Barbera characters, you know? Flintstones, Huckleberry Hound, Yogi Bear, shit like that. You know what I mean? Too old. Kids Number know Flintstones, 19, though? Do they? Mutual friends. Sometimes Family Feud answers are more than just wrong. I don't know how to feel about Base Mage and Nakat at Summit 2 13th placers for free. I don't necessarily think so. Nakat's pretty good. It depends on if he uses Sora. If he uses Sora, I don't see him going very far. I, I think Sora is cringe. But then again, he plays Pichu, and I don't think that's that much better. So, I don't know. Maybe. I want to see Nakat do well. I think Nakat has... I think Lavish is more likely to go 13th, but maybe not. Because I think Lavish is the lowest C, which means he's in the pool with Leo. So, but I could be wrong. Who knows? They're all good. They're completely illogical. When this contestant is out. Oh. Did you know that this guy has kissed over 200,000 women? Wait, maybe 20,000 women. I don't remember. Hold on. So, on the podcast that I do with Alpha Red. Exclamation point podcast in the chat. It's called How Did We Get Here? We talk about, you can find it here on Spotify, Apple, Amazon Music, Stitcher. We haven't uploaded a, an episode in a little while, but it'll come back. Um, on the podcast, we talk a lot about game shows. This guy, Richard Dawson, was notorious for, every time he would go up to a contestant, if it was a woman, he would kiss her, usually on the mouth. And it's like a friendly thing. It's it's a little weird, but whatever. It's it, it, A lot of people have chastised him for it. Um... It's weird, because uh, he does it for, like, younger girls, too. It's really bad. Whatever. This isn't to, to say that this guy's weird. The point is that, apparently, it is estimated that he has kissed 20,000 women. Hold on. Aha. 
40 years later, Richard Dawson is still getting dragged for kissing Family Feud contestants. As Cheat Sheet has previously reported, an executive producer estimated that Dawson kissed somewhere in the vicinity of 20,000 women during his run on Family Feud. Good God. Apparently he did it because a contestant was nervous. So she was nervous. So to, e so to ease her fears, just placed a, a wet smacky one right on her lips. Mwah! Don't be nervous, sweetheart. <laughs> You're in good company. That's just on air. That's true. Yeah, that's weird. He reached out to grab the contestant's shaking hand and then kissed her on the cheek for good, month, uh, for good luck. And then the next contestant asked for a kiss from Dawson, and apparently that was his thing from then on. Weird champ. Number 18, because it's raining. The pressure of being on Family Feud has caused many a contestant to give an answer that doesn't make a How do they explain the joke like the this? At the start of a round, competitors We have to blame the second you. woman. That's a good point. The first one was just nervous, but the second one started all of this. Might stay indoors on a beautiful day. It's her and fault. Fortunately, one contestant was clearly more concerned with ringing in first than comprehending the question. After slamming his hand on the buzzer, he replies, Because it's raining. Something tells us he heard the first part of the question, but not the second. Speed on Family Wait, Feud what is was the question? nearly as important. And on on a beautiful At the start of a round, competitors are asked... A oh, reason to stay indoors on a beautiful day. Tradition. Funny. Okay. Number 17, Hanukkah. There are so many traditions associated with Christmas. Okay, I get it. What's uh, you decorate Christmas? The tree, you unwrap okay, gifts this... and also I would rather just see Hanukkah? it. That's what a this is bad. Debbie suggested during her time on the show. All right. Name a tradition. Number one. She Reset the clock because I just laughed. Can you be sure to subscribe? I will, I'll to see our number one. And ring the bell to get too much padding. Our latest videos. You have the option to be notified. Watch Mojo, Mojo's videos, presentation is awful. It's good if you want to know about shit. If, you're if on they phone, have to explain sure you it. Go into your settings and switch but like, on come on, it's game show shit. No. But Correct. somebody posted this best of stupid game show answers. Whatever. This is the closest we'll get. This was in the the channel. Good enough. Minors. Fingers and toes. And hose. No. no. <laughs> Time starts now. Oh, I love this. A group of pill pushers? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that guy's fucked up. That guy was going to spend the money on some crazy shit. <laughs> oh, dang. Was that what you thought? You thought it was pill pushers? I mean, it fit. No, it doesn't fit. There's a P there. This dude's head was on one thing. This guy's mind straight to the pills. It's off this the perk. What was it? Uh, well wishers, bro. Uh, okay. Thousand dollars. Greg, uh, an ace of kidneys. <laughs> How long have you known George here? That's what, uh, what a group yeah, of them are called. You are signing, I noticed, and that, what does that tell us? That, that is what a group does. of them are called when you get a bunch together. An ugly child? Now, <laughs> you are a school counselor. <laughs> this term for a long-handled gardening tool can also mean an immoral pleasure seeker. Ken. What's a hoe? No. No, yes, he was right. Ken Jennings did nothing wrong here. He's actually right. Dude, when I saw this, I could not believe he was wrong. I saw this happen live. Because Mal's grandparents love to watch Jeopardy, and I went over there. I saw this happen live. Could not believe it. Can this. also mean an immoral He's actually correct. Ken. What's a hoe? No. <laughs> Whoa. By the way, what a fucking blowout. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a champion. He's throwing money away. Ken is crazy. What's the right answer? A rake. Which I don't... I, I, I don't see... Like, I know that word, but that's not used nearly as much. Yeah, a rake is like kind of like a siren, I think. It's like one of those things. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Old people lingo, yeah. They teach you that in school in Utah, huh? Al, what's a rake? A rake is right. Edda Tessman, Helen Alving, Newt Brovik. Who are three people who have never been in my kitchen? I don't know. 
What O is the generic word for any living animal or plant, including bacteria and virus? Organism. He's orgasm. Or orgasm. Yeah. yeah, that's what he's gonna say. Yeah. yeah. He did that on purpose, by the way. He's like a teen heartthrob. He he was in Tiger Beat a week later. That was on purpose. Thank you, DJ Tangan. Are used to compete in the legendary Tour de France. Alan again. Uh, uh, SUVs. Name? Why did people clap? Specific part of the body that women try to accentuate. Saber. Breast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why do you have to Name point? part of the body that gets bigger as adults get older. Pretty penis. <laughs> I hate Family Feud, bro. I hate Family Feud. They set up these questions. And uh, wait, what's that? You guys have seen this, right? Hold on. It's literally the first... I searched Steve Harvey comic, and it was the first thing that came up. <laughs> this is the whole show. This is the whole fucking show. Over and over forever. Dude, have you guys seen this? Hold on. This showed up on my Hulu, and Mal and I had to watch it. This is a new show that is on TV. Judge Steve Harvey. And on the show, he repeatedly says... I'm not a real judge, by the way. And all the show is, it, I would love to watch it, but I'll get DMCA'd. It just came out. All the show is, it's like a brother and a sister who are like, he owes me $500, but he won't pay me. And the guy's like, I'm not going to pay her because I love her so much and I want to finish the job. And he's like, oh, it sounds like you guys love each other too much and I'm going to give you both $500. That's the entire show. It's insane. The show is just like feel good family and and he's just like sitting there the whole time like going back and forth. He's just pogging out of his mind both ways. It is so fucking goofy. The show is nonsense. And it's just half an hour of this forever. And Mal loves it. We put it on in the background. <laughs> Mal is Mal this is not white woman TV. Mallory loves SNL and baking shows. Oh my god, she loves baking shows. Great British Bake Off all day, every day. She's watched seasons multiple times. That is white women TV. She loves that. Uh, nailed it. She loved Nailed It. All those baking shows on Netflix, you're like, who watches those? Why are there so many baking shows? My wife watches those, and she loves them. By the way, Will Arnett did a baking show, and I was like, poor Will Arnett. <laughs> what the fuck? What are you doing here? So did, uh, oh, God, who was on one of the baking shows? It was somebody who's, like, counterculture that you never would expect. Fuck, I forget who it was. Oh, Andy Samberg. Dude, Andy Samberg was on a baking show. I'm like, aren't you supposed to be, like, cynical? Aren't you, like, the counterculture guy? It's weird, dude. I don't know. It's... Andy Samberg is supposed to be sort of... Not edgy, but, like... Yeah! I don't know. That feels too clean. Great British Bake Off is genuinely just an amazing show. Copium. Oh, you're the Canadian guy. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I don't think he's counterculture. That's not the right way to put it. Andy Samberg is not earnest. Can we say that? Like Random thing, Coney, but Howie Mandel, host of Deal or No Deal, uh -huh. created Bobby's World and had him appear on an episode of the former for literally no reason and I did know that. shit in yeah. retrospect. Howie Mandel yeah. is weird, too. Fuck you. You gave me five more dollars. What? Those are, like, important to you, right? Your loonies and toonies, aren't those more valuable for you? <laughs> You're just giving me money to yell at me? You could buy a couple donuts at Timmy's. Maybe some coffee. What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, up all your loonies and your toonies. <laughs> Stop it. No, I, I... I, It's weird. It's... Andy Samberg isn't counterculture, but he's like... 
how do you put what would you use to describe it? He's not Here upfront and earnest, right? Just counter Mal with Mountain Monsters or MXC. I she would like MXC. Mallory would like MXC. She likes people falling down a lot. She thinks that's funny. She loves like America's funniest home videos. He is ironic. Yeah, maybe that's just the best way to put it. It's not Tim and Eric style. Maybe it's just ironic. You know? Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, we were way off track. Penis! What would be the ideal everyday... Just watch Impractical Jokers on stream and get, see if you get a weak band. Dude, I love Impractical Jokers. That show rules. Ready, penis. <laughs> Favorite Joker? I want to run a prediction. I wish we could do a prediction yeah! with, with we more than like two. We don't like Tim's anymore, and it's worth it. <laughs> Middle finger. Dude, yeah, I saw Joe is leaving. Uh, Multiple choice? No, you can only do two things on a prediction. Yeah, Joe's leaving. It's so sad. So they're not going to do the show anymore. Who's Joe? Stop. <laughs> it would be... Let me look. Hold on. They're all so good for different reasons. Sal is the guy you, you, you like the most, but I think Sal is like Rorschach and Watchmen. You're supposed to like him. You know what I mean? It's too easy. I asked Mal who I'm most like, and she said Joe. <laughs> she says I'm a Joe. She's a Mer. <laughs> No, you're not. That's it. She says I'm Joe because I don't like get embarrassed. Like when they do the things, like these guys will get embarrassed and won't do shit. I have no shame. Joe will just do shit. So apparently I'm a Joe because Joe, I think, cares the least about what people think about him. And I think that's what she thinks about me. I don't know if it's a confidence thing. I don't know how to put it, but thank you, E Sam. Am I Joe Champ? I meant like, I meant like King Rorschach. Yeah, when you when you read or watch Watchmen, don't you get the sense like, oh, I'm supposed to like Rorschach because he fights for his ideals no matter what. Obviously, if you read a little deeper, you see that he's a psychopath with no uh, moral gray. He's just black or white. You don't think so? Dude, no, you're definitely supposed to like Rorschach. No, bullshit. You, you read Watchmen and you're like, oh, yeah, he's badass. He's doing he's taking justice into his own hands. You really don't think that. Chad is pretending. They are, dude. Everybody's trying to be smart. Rorschach is the protag. <laughs> Predict with channel points. Wait, we have a prediction here? Joe Gatto or the... <laughs> well, I Guys, I don't... Uh... So it's one verse three. No, I think you're supposed to like Rorschach when you read or watch Watchmen. You don't think so? The author straight up said he wanted to write him as super hateable. Really? Famously, Alan Moore was angry they made Rorschach likable in the movie. Man, that's crazy. I genuinely thought, I genuinely thought as I read this, Rorschach is... Like, the Punisher for fucking pinheads. You know what I mean? Yo, he's just like me. No bureaucracy. I'm gonna... He, he takes stuff into his own hands. He's getting rid of the bad guys. You know what I mean? I thought he was designed to be... Uh, uh, just a... He's, he, you identify with him as you read it because he's like the Batman guy. The Punisher isn't likable either, though. That's my point! The Punisher is likable by guys with nuts on their trucks. Just fucking idiots. Rorschach, to the common man, is a hero. That's the whole point of it. Is that if you see, read a little bit deeper, you're like, oh, this guy's a fucking psychopath. You know? That's what I, that's what I thought as I read it. But maybe I'm wrong. I'm thinking of the common man. Uh, favorite Joker probably is Sal, by the way. So, pay out. <laughs> I, 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 you know, all of them are great for different reasons, but... 
Big fan of Sal. Fan of Sal. Sal's my guy. I think Sal is supposed to be the one you like the most, too. Because he's, like, the most human, vulnerable, right, you know? <laughs> Q was my favorite. I like Q. And like, they're all good for different reasons. I don't know Drew Patterson. I don't know what he's doing. Q is the most relatable. You think? No, I don't think so. Can we get a fat Sal on the stream? <laughs> Whoa! We can get a fat five gifted. Thank you, Real Gamer Tage. Tage? It's a hard name to say, brother. Thank you for the five gifties. Big thanks. Fat Sal now. <laughs> Dude, for so long, this image was all over the internet, and I had no idea why. I didn't know who he was. I had no idea who this was. I was like, what the fuck is this? What? Who is this man? And then I watched the Practical Jokers. I'm like, okay, I get it now. <laughs> I had no idea what this was. I was shocked. I never knew who it was. It's Sal from Impractical Jokers. He does do stand-up. I've always wanted to watch his stand-up because I bet it's good. He's a funny guy, bro. He's a funny dude. By the way, the Tonight's Big Loser, like, meme format is so fucking funny. Just, oh. We had one of those. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. <laughs> I This tweet is from 2020. Had a dream the other night. The Impractical Jokers got into Smash. All four of them like the Koopalings. And both of the Q-Skins had a hat. This is true. I had this dream years ago. <laughs> and then Judd said, Sal failed to survive the onslaught of Galeem and the Master Hands, making him tonight's big loser. Excellent tweet. <laughs> Very funny tweet. By the way, this image is so funny. Because, like, <laughs> like <laughs> I replied here, but, like, Joker comes out, you're like, oh, cool, and then Joe comes out. People are like, what the fuck, Joe? And then Sal, and then by Sal, people are angry because they know what the next two are. They're, po they're like, oh, my God, no. <laughs> you never get banned, Joe. People are just mad by Sal. They're like, oh, God, it's all four of them. If it was just Joe, that'd be one thing. All four of them on a team. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> I used to be funny, dude. Sal, hang on ledge. Snake, up smash, up smash. Looks at camera. I can't do it. I can't get off the ledge. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's so funny, dude. I'm retweet. I shouldn't retweet it. This is so fucking funny. This is so funny. I'm retweeting it. <laughs> so that's a banger. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like that. <laughs> that's a good tweet. Okay. Anyway, bet. Oh my god, I got super stun locked. Holy shit, I love that show. It's a good show. Penis. She misunderstood. That's a good everyday temperature. Right? For, like, your body to be. No, no, no. That's your body. You know? Being something normally worn only by children. Michael. Clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Name something you might act <laughs> I love the fact he looks up on the board. 
he's looking to make sure it's got to be up there. I know there's got to be clothes. I know child's clothes are up there. Good answer. <laughs> Can you say in a British accent, Sal is tonight's big loser and he must stun lock Leo's elbow? Wh what? <laughs> it sounds like that sentence is AI generated. I don't think you, you came up with that. I'm not saying it. Name I won't. Something you might accidentally leave on all night. Yes. Your shoes. Clothes. I hope you won't take this the wrong way, Kenneth, but you are weird. <laughs> Got a boyfriend? I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just trying to get off the subject of schools. Yeah, I'm absolutely. sorry, Michael. I for for forgive me. A girlfriend? Have you got a girlfriend? No, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm a very happy little fella myself, actually. <laughs> how? Okay. How? How does the host get out of this? I don't know how the host gets out of this situation. I'm, like, trying to think if I was the host. He can't. He loses. Yeah, it's over at that point. Never mind. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. That's checkmate. I Like, as somebody who has hosted shit, sometimes I'll watch this and I'll empathize, but I'm like, how do you get out of this now? You're dead. No, actually, no you're done. Something you feel before you buy it. Mike. Excited. <laughs> Sir Irving's knighting, the queen slipped with her sword, so instead of being knighted, Sir Irving was blanked. Uh, bar mitzvah. <laughs> These shows suck. I hate the ones that are like that. Has his Mad lips. Every time we make love, he expects me too. Being married to a drill sergeant has his drawbacks. Every time we make love, he expects me to clean his weapon. <laughs> Dude, I forgot about Rondell. This guy was on every show for like five years. Where did he go? What happened to Rondell? He was on Raven. He was on Cousin Skeeter. Now, we welcome you and ask you to tell us about yourself. I live in Orange County. I'm retarded. I mean, retired. Come on, crowd. What country has the highest ratio of doctors to population? The country with the most Jews. <laughs> I would say Israel. <laughs> you have a doctor in every family. It's a cousin, could be an uncle, a couple of specialists. It was a different time. I agree. You agree with that? It's Israel. He's right. It is? <laughs> Goodbye, Vaughn. <laughs> Julie, you're watching balls go back and forth at speeds of up to 160 miles an hour. In what sport? <laughs> John. Jogging. <laughs> Dude. Man falls out. They gotta bring this back. Twitch squares would be crazy. Just nine squares with Twitch stars in it. You already pitched this? I know, and it still hasn't happened. Imagine that. How do you get six Twitch people on at the same... Oh, no. Dude, you could just do it in a Discord. Oh, man. I got to pitch this to Twitch. Yeah, pitch this to Twitch. You just nine squares on stream. You've said this? Yeah, but I mean, like, I haven't said... I've, I've, I've had the idea, but to bring it into, into fruition. Say you're going to do it so someone steals it. <laughs> right now, it's just an idea I had. Which means you'll see it in a week. Dude, sell it to Alpharad. Ugh. Oh, this is my baby. 
Family Feud would be better, be better. Other people have done that. Other people have done Family Feud. You could do Twitch Squares. Tyler won on the very top yelling the answer down to the host on the bottom. Dude, Tyler would be so good on that. Oh, Bro, just make it. What's stopping you? Time! I gotta talk to all nine of these people, make sure they're all in on it, get them all set up on something, get the overlay, putting it all together, making a date. <laughs> Summit might work. Hmm. I'm gonna do Twitch squares. Smashers are boring. Yeah, I agree. I don't think that would work. When a man falls out of your boat and into the water, you should yell, man overboard. Now, what should you yell if a woman falls overboard? Full speed ahead. <laughs> Not funny. Not funny, Paul Lynn. What should you do about a hairy back? <laughs> Beast. Uh, I usually close my eyes and imagine she's wearing an alpaca sweater. <laughs> The law of what organization ends by stating that its members are brave, clean, and reverent? Alcoholics Anonymous. Boy Scouts. <laughs> Which letter of the alphabet sounds exactly the same as the term for a female sheep? Bah. That dude's dumb. Dude, it's always the most attractive guys on these shows, too. Oh, my God. You. Never mind. Will your husband say he is uh, basically more urban or rural, Kathy? I don't know what they mean. <laughs> well, you know him. Uh, I mean, you married him. What do you think? Uh, uh, heck, he's urban. He's ur <laughs> this poor woman. It just looks dead in the eyes. Yeah, it looks like an animatronic. Yeah, this doesn't look real. This looks like it would be at the World's Fair in 1972. This poor woman. <laughs> Urban. Yeah. How long has he been that way? About two months. Two months he's been. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you, you think there's anything he can do about it? He went to a doctor. Oh, he did. <laughs> did, did, uh, what what does she think this doctor means? Did you give him anything for his urban? He gave me something. Gave <laughs> okay. Alright, she's in on it. She's in on it. Content queen. Content queen. Content queen. Oh, I would say his pool table upstairs. Definitely. <laughs> I never heard that word before, neither, but I said karate school. <laughs> Wait, what? What your husband say is his favorite condiment. Oh, favorite condiment. Okay, karate school. Okay, they don't... Okay. How many decades will your husband say his mother has lived? Gloria. Ten decades. Ten decades. <laughs> Gentlemen, how many decades has your mother lived? Daryl, you, know, you have a troubled look on your face. What's the matter? Oh, I don't know what a decade is. Forty <laughs> fourth birthday, so she'd be good. It's four years a decade. She'd be ten decades. Ten decades. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't real. This isn't real, dude. This is not real. These shows are content, right? Like these can't be. This is rigged as shit. No one way. The very last traditional Jewish favorite your wife prepared for you. Jewish? Yeah. Hurry with your answer. Chow me. Chow me! Um, corn. Corn. That's a dumb question. Okay, he, he said that it's uh, just the top card, Rick, is really all I need this time, I think, is a bagels, he said. Bagels? Yes. What are bagels? <laughs> You think any couples got divorced because of match game? Or no, this is newlywed game. They had to have. Absolutely, yeah. Fuck, man, that's crazy to me. 
ruining someone's proposed future? Man. You go ahead and tell her, Rick. What are bagels? I don't know. I'm Mormon. <laughs> well, tell me, what is your favorite crustacean, Ray? <laughs> it's lobster. All right, Laurie said your favorite crustacean is uh, the stuff in your eyes. <laughs> stuff that gets in your eye when you sleep. This is not lobster. No, it's not lobster. It's Donald. That's right. <laughs> you wipe it away. <laughs> One thing you She's so confident. You hear your wife say about your last girlfriend on Coast to Coast Television. She said your last girlfriend was a hooker. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Could they air that? Bro, this is like the 70s. What? Oh my god. Your husband say is his very favorite kind of rodent. Georgie? It's a rodent. His very <laughs> Really, what game is funny, bro? Kind of this is a good show. His saxophone. <laughs> Dude, the setup for this show is pretty good. I kind of like this. Because what you do is you ask them an easy question with like a weird final word. So like rodent or condiment or something. And you bet on them being stupid. And you don't tell them what the word means. Mmm. Fascinating. The content wheels are turning. Yeah, I see how this show functions. I like this. Mmm. Interesting. Next question, gentlemen. What is the one thing the people on the other side of your street have more of than you do? Cars. Cars. Your wife said they have more, more grass than you do. Grass. Uh, I wouldn't bet on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, what Spanish word or phrase will your wife say best describes her bust? Jimmy. Nada. Roses are red, violets are blue. I want to see her reaction. We didn't get to see her reaction on that? Oh my god. On our wedding night, my husband, what? We went to bed. <laughs> what country will your husband say the last foreign car he rode in was manufactured, friend? The United States. That's not a foreign country. Poor friend. Um, Texas. Texas! Next question, girls. What will your husband say is his favorite thing to squeeze in the supermarket? Jane? I say his meat. Pardon? His meat. It's too obvious. He's a butcher. <laughs> too obvious, bro. You set that one up. One product name that best described your romantic behavior on your wedding night. Oh. I would say uh, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> okay, she said you were the jolly green giant. <laughs> I'm not that big, Karen. Dr. Pepper? What would that even mean? <laughs> Jolly Green Giant is just big, I guess. You could, like... Point questions. Girls, tell me where specifically is the weirdest place that you personally, girls, have ever gotten the urge to make whoopee? Olga? Um... <laughs> Go ahead. In the... <laughs> I've seen that one. That's an old one. That's an old one. Thank you. Go easy on me for the prime. Whoopi, it it's make whoopi is what you think it is. You know what it is. I want more. <laughs> SGSA game show. How old is this video? Twenty eleven. Oh my god. Holy shit. Funniest game show answers of all time, nine years ago. Dude. These are old as hell. Hold on, what is this site? I have to look. It's crazy to me. By the way, the site's not up. <laughs> site's dead. It's crazy to me that YouTube is gonna be twenty years old soon. That's crazy.
That is insane. Oh my god. Wait, stupid GSA's... Oh, shit. 14 years ago. Dude, there's a whole series of this. The last one was six years ago. <laughs> Dick Clark tribute. That's insane. So much. They have a Twitter 13 years ago. Oh, dude. It's weird to see old, like, I don't know. I feel like Indiana Jones looking at this, you know? Going through an old relic. Content mind detected. I, Dude, I don't, I don't think so, but... You know, <laughs> there's stuff here, I guess. I, there's got to be better stuff. There aren't even that many episodes. No. There's got to be better versions of that video. More recent. Somebody linked this in the Watch This Video channel on Discord. This video that's 11 years old. Surely there's more. God, we're going to have people... Oh, my God. There are... Oh, how long is YouTube? 16 years now? Dude. So, there are so many people who are going to be walking around who never remembered a life without YouTube. People born after YouTube was created. I mean, already they're in high school. Oh, dude. Man, that's that's unreal to me. I I genuinely can't really fathom what it was like to be in a world without a phone with with access to all information at all times. I remember the feeling of having that data phone in my hand for the first time. I think it was I think it was when I was in like doing brawl stuff because I was we were like. It wasn't that common to have those kind of phones at that point. And we were driving around and I like could read smash boards on my phone. And it was insane. Dude. I just can't. Oh, man. It's a different world. It's going to keep changing, too. Which is why, like, all these... these Stupid ass videos I see on YouTube are just pissing me off because none of them are funny. There's nothing funny except one video. I'm trying to find it. It was in my recommended, but I don't see it anymore. <laughs> I it's gone, I think. Alright, yeah, it's gone. Whatever. Never mind. Alright. Uh what time is it? Ten fifty four? That was really Oh, man. I wanted to play Tiny Kin. But we got... We got locked. I'll try Tiny Kin. Hold on. We'll try out Tiny Kin. How long is it? How long is a demo? 30 minutes, right? Just pop the bounty now. <laughs> That's tomorrow. Two hours max? Six hours? Apparently it's not responding. Huh? Okay. We'll try out Tiny Kid. We'll give it a shot. Dude, Tiny Kid's kind of loud. Okay, in case you guys didn't know, Tinykin is a game that looks like Pikmin. It's, like, cute. Oh, it skips the scene. Whatever, I'm just trying to bring it down. It had a trailer a while ago, and now it is a demo. So I just want to see what it's like. Demo of a game of development may contain bugs. Recommended to play with a controller. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't have one of those. I'll play with mouse and keyboard. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It'll be fine. I don't have a controller on me. 
We'll give this a shot for a little bit. By the way, like I said, factor opinion tomorrow, I think, and then something else. I think. What is that cut? What, you don't like it? That was like the quintessential 90s nerd cut. Every every nerd in every movie and every game looked like that. Oh, dude, it is Pikmin. He's talking like Olimar. Oh, there's a 5K bit dono? Oh my god, you're right. Wow, you're so old. Can you say Zoinks Morty? Let's get back to the mystery portal. The, in an accent? Do you want British Shaggy or just normal, like... Like normal or... I'm not doing it until you answer. British? All right. Coney, stop responding to these. It's a trap. What's going to... What? I, it's... Bro, that's... That's 5,000 bits. That's $50. <laughs> He's going to reverse the audio to get you canceled. <laughs> It doesn't even sound like me. It's British. I can deny it. Zoinks, Morty! Let's get back to the mystery portal! <laughs> eh, not great. Zoinks, Morty! Because you gotta hit the Morty. Morty. It's hard because there are too many T's. Too many T's. Zoinks, Morty! Let's get back to the... To, um, to the... To... God. Zoinks, Morty! Zoinks, Morty! Let's get back to the mystery portal! Got it. That's it. That's it. I'm there. I got it. I got it. That was so good. Holy shit. Yeah, you're welcome. No more. I only need three takes. Hey, you're finally awake. You came out of nowhere. I was worried you never wake up. You see, be okay. Never met anyone. Set up the uh, set up your equipment. Dude, it's it's like Paper Mario, but Pikmin. Dude, this rules. Uh, I don't have a joystick. <laughs> Dude, this is cool! Press and hold A again after a jump. Okay. So I could drift? Uh... What? What do I- <laughs> Huh? I can't make that jump, can I? Oh shit! Give me the tiny kin. Uh, pink tiny kin are the strongest. They can pull or push objects. They come in handy. Okay. Dude, this actually looks really good. This was made by the people, I think it was like Tiny Build, who like... Made some other stuff that I wasn't really as into. <laughs> Thank you, Wooler. This is really cool. Tiny Build Publish. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, still. They published a lot of crap, I thought. Dude, it's Pikmin. Oh, my God. It's literally Pikmin. That's crazy. <laughs> That's insane to me. It's it's like not even trying to hide it. Which honestly, fine. Works for me, as long as it's good. <laughs> but it actually feels good. By the way, the demo is public. So if you guys want to try it yourself too, it's available. I need 30? 28? Okay. Perfect. Good. We need more games to be like other games. Honestly, kind of. I think if, if games aren't going to change, like if games stay the same forever, you should be allowed to change them yourself. They even do the whistle sound. Oh my god, dude. They even make the sound. Wait, what is this prediction? 
Does Coney play this game for more than an hour? No, I'm not going to. What are you talking about? We're so late on the stream. Don't bet on that. No. I'm playing it for like... It's probably not even an hour long demo. How long is the demo? It's a demo, you guys. The demo is an hour. Okay, well... Uh, uh, come on. All the votes went to no. Obviously! What do you, why would you think I would play it for longer? That's your fault. First component. If you knew how many years I waited for this, rid me. Okay. Guys, it's already 11. You guys got me all stunlocked on game show shit. Oh, what? Oh, where do we go? I thought we went up. Come on in. What? Oh, I see. That was like a back. Okay. Not our fault. It literally is. You guys got me stuck on Watch Mojo bullshit. Forever. Then we talked about the, 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 the practical jokers and, you know. How many subs to do an hour? Hmm. 22 f 50? 2250? Hmm? I mean, maybe. I don't know how long it's been now. Uh, transportation device. Oh, dude, even... It's the same way with that. Like, you don't have a ship and the transportation device is broken. It's Pikmin, dude! Check the Steam <laughs> number of minutes for when you finish. Okay, good idea. Smart. I can slide? Salty C20! Dude, Salty, you've given me like $100 already in bits! What's going on? Why 20 gifted? Thank you. What the fuck? Thank you. That's a lot of money. Unfortunately. <sighs> kind of tired though. <sighs> kind of sleepy. <laughs> what the heck? 20 gifted? That's double what I asked for. I can't stop now. Okay. Okay. That means we actually have to pay out the people that said an hour. Which is nuts. Oh, shit! Dude! Thank you, E. Compton, for the five! Big thank you. Dude, this is cool Pikmin. This is wicked as hell. Okay. This person wants artifacts. The other person wants the other thing. Okay. Stop the count. Yeah, does it count if people bribed me into streaming for longer? I guess the technical about it doesn't matter. Just whatever happened. Sacred Pilgrimage, Ardwin, Banner, Pius, Shield Bug named Solaria, very important. Okay. Spare key for Sanctar. Okay. I feel like enough people have not played Pikmin that, like... Do I throw it at him? Oh, I do. Okay. That, like, this won't feel... Yeah, this will still feel new, you know? I've never played Pikmin. That was my next question. Have you guys ever actually, like... How many people have actually played that game? Because I feel like nobody's done it. Pikmin stresses me out. Yeah, I don't... I wonder if this game has enemies. Why can't I climb that? Can I climb this? What? I thought it was a... Oh, you have to be on the soap. Okay, I'm done.
I bought the first Pikmin last week. It's a good game. I can't because I don't like the Pikmin dying. <laughs> I feel like that's a very common thing. More than you would think. Wait, can I do something in here? It looks like there's more over there, but whatever, I'll just go. I feel like a lot of people don't want their Pikmin to die. When I was young, I didn't want them to die, so I never got the game, and then I got it from Blockbuster, and like every time a Pikmin died, I would restart. So I never got very far. <laughs> it was impossible. It is not possible to play that game without them dying. Literally impossible. Generations, generations, shield bugs, urban himself counting on us. Okay. Oh god, look at all the collectibles. Oh my god. Oh no way. Dude, there's so much to explore. This is huge. Dude, okay, so I see how this works. It's like... Oh, this is kind of cool. So, like... You get the, the Pikmin. And the Pikmin... You get more Pikmin, and having more Pikmin... Means that you're able to use more to move stuff. Like, red Pikmin. Yeah, okay. This is kind of neat. I wish I did have a controller though. This does seem better. What game is this? It's called Tinykin. It has a demo out right now on Steam. I saw it at one, like maybe Game Awards or something, but I was like, oh, that actually looks cool. Is this like a mirror maze? I don't. What a neat setup. Can I change what Pikmin I'm using? Because I only have six. I can't get through that. Okay, we'll go back the other way. How far are you in? Literally five seconds. Very, very early. It's very good so far, though. I like the, the look of it, but, like, you know, I'm not... I just started, so... <laughs> Tofu? What? I don't know what that was. Maybe it's health? What's the full price? We don't know. This is the first I'm seeing about it, so we don't really know anything yet. My guess is it's probably going to be like, you know, a normal, like, I don't know, $20, $30 game. Something like that. What are you writing on? Piece of soap. Thank God that's in the game, by the way. If I didn't have the soap, I'd be mad slow. Proof that there's something in there. Okay. So, oh, you have objective, dude. There's like side quests. Reveal the closet monster using the camera. Oh my god, they thought of everything. Holy shit! I'm really gonna collect everything. I'm so crazy. I need 25 to do that. Okay. Dude, I'm actually going to do everything in this game. That's insane. No, you're not? Yes, I am. Not tonight. I just mean, like, in the game proper. When I get the real game, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, like... Dude, these things are, like, crack to me. You don't understand. People that grew up with shit like Banjo-Kazooie are, like, predisposed to addiction. What is this? Do I break that? Okay. Yeah, I'm a loot goblin. I, I can't help it. Not tonight, though. Not the full game tonight. That's crazy. Hey, Coney, what are you announcing next? Hey, uh, I'll be at something very soon. I'm not allowed to officially announce it, but I've talked a lot about it, so, uh, you can probably guess what it is, but, you know. 
gonna gonna let you figure that one out for yourself. Level up Expo? No, <laughs> I'm not going to level up Expo. I didn't even know what that was until uh, TK and EE started talking about it. I think it's some kind of like Vegas con or something. I've never been to a con tournament. Have you guys been to those? Are they actually like cool? Like a MomoCon or something or like a... Not worth. No, no, they aren't cool. <laughs> You're going to VidCon, right? No, no, no. Dude, I saw TwitchCon got announced. I feel like I have to go, but like, you know, do you? I, I kind of, right? Like for the networkies and the talkies and the, I don't know. Many of my sisters were stuck inside the silk cocoons. Oh, neat. I feel like I have to go to TwitchCon. I almost said SawCon because I read it in chat. I'm not going to SawCon. I'm not going there. I'm not going to do that. Not in my itinerary. <laughs> no. Bro, you could grind on edges! Dude, the speed run for this game is going to go nuts. You could be on the soap the entire time. Uh, to glide to the top of the halogen. Oh, this is extra bubble. You get more soap. Ah, that's neat. This kid's lack of a back spray is mildly off-putting. Actually, yeah, that is kind of weird. You never see this dude's back? That is a little strange. He's just like always facing the camera. Like he has something to hide. Is there something here? Do I... Okay, no. Do I glide on that? No way I make that. I don't even know why I tried. Do I die? Is there fall... <laughs> Jesus. Okay. All right. There is fall damage. Kind of. I don't think dying is a huge deal. Still kind of brutal. What is this? Oh, move that. Okay. He do go down. This is a fun game. I actually like it better with, uh, well, maybe not. I was going to say, I think I like it better with mouse and keyboard, but I guess it'd be the same either way. Do I hit those? It's a nice little comfy, easy game. Sure, why not? Oh, dude, Mallory would go crazy for this fucking game. She hit... Dude, so her and I were talking, and she said that she really likes Slime Rancher. She, so she was like, I really want to play Elibits again. And I'm like, Elibits? She's like, yeah. I'm like, like for the Wii? She said, yeah. I said, honey, how are you going to play Elevate? She said, well, it, they probably have a remake or something, right? I was like, no. <laughs> Elevate's existed at one period of time and then never again. She really thought that there was something. She wants her daughter. Okay. Emulate it for her? Emu what? I'll hook up my my Wii, maybe, to our HDTV. It's got to be like a dollar on eBay. I think I still own it, actually. I'm pretty sure I still have it. <laughs> Can someone in chat tell me what that man just said? Because I don't think I read it correctly. <laughs> Like the bird? <laughs> no, 
Sanders singing. That's cute. It's kind of like Hat in Time. It's kind of weird, the mix of, like, the 3D with the 2D. Do you kill humans in this game? I hope so. I really hope that this game, like... You, 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 you do run across human beings and you can kill them. You don't have to, but it's like treated like a, like a game or something silly, but no, you're just murdering them. I think I would like that. That would be a neat concept. What is this letter? Uh, I have a letter, but I don't know who it's supposed to go. I'm dead. I love the idea in games of... Unintentional murder? Does that make sense? Like, there aren't many games that do it. But but the idea that your character is like killing people but doesn't really know it or doesn't care. Uh Illbleed did that. Happy but dark shit. Yeah, kind of. Illbleed was very funny with it. So in Illbleed, the final chapter is basically like Toy Story. And the idea is you play as Woody, right? And one day your owner dies. No, your owner's uh, sister dies. So you're you're Woody, and let's imagine that Andy's sister dies. So Andy's sister is buried with Bo Peep. So Woody says, "Oh no, my love interest." Okay, so you die in water. I'm trying to think of the best way to describe this. Okay. Let's imagine that in Toy Story, there's Woody and Bo Peep, and they're an item. They're together. Andy's little sister dies, and she's buried in her coffin with Bo Peep. Woody is sad that he, Bo Peep is taken from him, so Bo Peep, or so Woody kills Andy so he can be with Bo Peep. Because if he is buried with Andy, then they both die and go to hell to live together. What? This isn't... I'm not... You guys shouldn't be wanting me. This is what happens in the game. This is literally... This is why I love this game. Hold on. What's it called? Toy Hunter Cutscene? Hold on. I wasn't kidding, by the way. You are Woody. I'm trying to find a good shot of him. Yeah, you're Woody. He's... He's Southern and everything. Hold on, let me see. Hi, I know... Let me see if I can find the scene. There's a scene where you kill your owner. He kills what Andy. That for? I wanted to die. See, he wants to die. He wants to go to hell. Hey. Yeah, you're right. Through the tunnel. Is this it? Oh, this is it. Yeah, this is where he kills his owner. Hi. It's we Buzz? I literally never made that connection. But you're right. Oh my god. Again. Potodon. His it's name is really Potodon. You. you made it through the tunnel, Cork. I even found my new owner. Look at that kid. <laughs> what the? That's not the kid I was talking about. He's healthy as hell. You can't meet with Sexy Doll until you get buried in a coffin. Oh, yeah. You're right. Gosh, what would you do without me, hmm? <laughs> That's it. This game is fucked up. Hey, but it's so funny. This and shoot that kid. <laughs> Catch. Are you serious? You're gonna use this? We're not gonna kill him for real. Just knock him unconscious with it. 
So they don't kill him for real. They bury him alive. I forgot about that. What we're gonna make people think is that you did to shoot that kid. I forgot about that. <laughs> this game is Now's fucked. Now's a chance. Shoot him. Me? I'm the one to shoot him? Now's a chance. Shoot him. <laughs> This game is so fucking funny. Jeremy, what happened? Jeremy! So basically, yeah, you kill that kid and then you get buried in the coffin with him and you go to hell and you meet Sexy Doll and then uh, you fight Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey, why are you stopping it? That's what happens in this game. I love this game so much. What is this? This game is called Ill Bleed. I wanted to watch... I wanted to play Ill Bleed on stream so bad. But it didn't quite work out because the game... Like, the game... The game play itself isn't that great. Is Sexy Doll a PNG? Uh... No, she's... Let me find a picture. <laughs> Ill Bleed Sexy Doll. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> this is Sexy Doll. Uh, that's her name. It's just a woman in a bikini with her ass up. That's Sexy Doll. So, I highly recommend that you watch the Ill Bleed cutscenes. They are fucking insane. They are insane. They're all, it's also very rare. It's a hard game to like buy on eBay or anything. Why did a family bury her, their daughter with that? Because that was her favorite toy. Ill Bleed is a very funny game. But it, it the issue that I had, the reason that I couldn't stream it, is because it is a game that is less fun to watch the better you are at it. Because if you're bad at the game, then you see all the jump scares and stuff. And also, that's that area is the last area in the game. So there's a lot of crap before it. So. It is a very funny game. What do you mean, jump scares? The entire game is about you're walking through an area and you have to predict where jump scares are in the game. So if you're good at it, you don't actually ever get scared and you never get to see them. But they're really creative. One of the, the levels, it's like you're at a you're at a supermarket and you uh <laughs> you're at a supermarket and you're just walking around and the cabbage jumps up and tries to eat you. It's really dumb. But if you see that, you're like, oh, I'm just gonna predict that, and then it's not an issue, you know? Is this not Pikmin? Kind of is. It's called Tiny Kid. Ends with I-N and everything, dude. Why is he small? I don't know. He's an alien. Probably. Is a Olimar. It's nice, though. It's good, relaxing. You just walk around, throw shit, pick up the Pikmin off the ground. Are you just playing Pikmin? Yes, it looks like Pikmin! Get off! They even make this sound. That blows my mind, dude. The th oh, they sing along with the music. That's cute! Can I grab that? 10? Oh, I don't even have 10. What a cool game, dude. Oh, when they... Do they die when I throw them? Oh, they do! Okay, I thought I got them back. Okay. Damn, that's kind of messed up. This was the Pikmin 4 we were promised. Can Pikmin, like, become a genre? 
Dude, I wish. I love Pikmin games. I would give anything. Lutera spent a long time building this temple. They don't seem to care. No. Hey, we got Pikmin Go, right? Pog. Poggies. This oddly reminds me of Little Big Planet. Don't say that in this chat. <laughs> Don't say that here. You will awaken something. Don't do it. Oh no. <laughs> now people getting excited. Guys, they didn't mean it. I'm not gonna play Little Big Planet. Never ever. Where is he? <laughs> don't d don't worry about it. He's gone. What a cool game, dude. It's like a church. Uh, one more? One more? Oh, I don't have any more reds. Shit. I'm addicted. I'm gonna collect all of these. I've actually got most of them, though. I'm at 500? Like... Why not Little Big Planet? That was a great game growing up. Don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we're not from the same generation. I'll just say that. We are not from the same generation. I did not play Little Big Planet growing up. I played Little Big Planet as an adult, and I was like, hmm. Tony, aren't you like 22? Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. I, I you know what the saddest part is? I don't know if that's shit posting. I don't know if they're just talking. They just want me to say it. They're trying to hurt me. Um okay. Take it as a compliment. Okay. I'm young at heart. I'm 33, okay? Not even old. Not even old. Some say uh, 30s are the new 20s. I've heard that quite a lot. Many have been saying this. Who's they? Uh, all of them. All of them. Everyone. Have you not heard that? Because I have. From everyone. Yeah, 30-somethings. Well, that doesn't make it any less valid. What you're doing is called an ad hominem. The ad hominem fallacy. Which is bunk in the grand marketplace of ideas. So, you know. Don't strawman me. <gasps> Go in the guitar! Cool! Oh my god, there's a music club in the guitar. That's magical. Dude. I want to back this game. How do I back this game? This is so cool. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, but the music, the guitar should be accurate when I jump on it to where I jumped on it. Bit of a mark against it, but it's fine. I'm not listening to all the dialogue. I'm too busy. Dude, I almost have all the collectibles. That's insane. This area looked so big a minute ago, and now I'm like... Verging on completion? Miss stuff up here though. He will never get all the collectibles. Jokes on you! I'm doing it right now. This is probably all there is though. I can't play for more than an hour <laughs> if I finish everything. You know, if I get all the collectibles and then it's done. What a cool game though. This is making a really strong impression on me to start. What game is this? It's called Tiny Kin. Uh, this demo is on Steam right now. 
Is this a bounty? No, I, I just, I'm playing this of my own volition. However, I will be running a bounty tomorrow for a little game you might have heard of called Lost Ark. So, you know, <laughs> tune in for that one. People love Lost Ark. Thank you, Sea Pebbles. I know how much you guys love Lost Ark. You know what's crazy is Lost Ark actually does have a lot of uh, crossover with my viewership. That's weird. I looked at it, and the numbers are actually higher than you would think. 200 viewers stream? Hey, I'm getting paid for it, so. <laughs> but still, don't leave, because I get paid more the more you guys are there, so. Come on, help me out. Hello, streamer. Hello, streamer. Not... Have you played my favorite game, Little Big Pikmin? I <laughs> think you would like it. It is my favorite <laughs> game. Is Diarysis, Diarysis, Why is he back? Why did he take... He had to get his mom's credit card. He had to get his, his mom's credit card. That's what it was. She's probably asleep. Had to go sneak up to her room, get in her purse, open up the wallet. Will there be drops? I don't know. I don't know how to turn that on. <laughs> what do you think I am, Asmongold? Dude, speaking of that guy, he had like 200 views. He had like 200 viewers. <laughs> he had like 200,000 viewers <laughs> when Lost Ark dropped. 200,000 viewers when that game... <laughs> Sorry, I realized, I realized I didn't make that sound too impressive. Wow, 200 viewers. Amazing. It was 400k? Why? Dude, for what? That's insane. What is that game? Same thing when he played 14 for the first time. I did not realize that MMOs were that big. I d dude, it- I could not believe it. How do I get up there? Oh, there's a rope. MMOs are huge. They aren't- he- he just- No, dude, that's copium. MMOs are big. They have to be. It can't all just be, like, strictly viewership, you know? Final Fantasy XIV seems huge, but maybe that's just, you know, social media inflation. Oh, is that the nose? Alright, go take that back. Oh, never mind. He's on me. Okay, we'll go take that. MMOs are getting huge growth in Asia. Ah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Did not consider that emerging market. It's not even emerging, really, is it? I just know a lot of Western companies are trying to, like, do stuff with China. Ah! So these are, like, the stars of the game. Got it, got it, got it. God, what a cool game. Holy shit. Uh, should I go down there? Are those collectibles? No. Okay. I might actually be done with this area. Oh, what? That's not all of them? Why are they singing now? I thought I had to get all the pollen, but I guess not. Because in the top right, it says, uh... I have 749 out of 740? I guess it's just a minimum? Huh. Oh, shit. And now they sing. Where do I bring this note? Is there, like, a thing that tells me how many... Because you know I'm going to try to find them all. Repair the CD player, get inside the piano, reveal the closet monster using the camera. I thought I was almost done, but I guess not. <laughs> Holy shit. You left a star by the frog? No, I got it! I got the frog star. It was on his nose. I 
think. No, you did leave it. No, I didn't! There was one in the church? Damn it. The church frog. Hold on, I'll look, I'll look, I'll look. Give me a second. There's so many games now that come out like this that feel like, uh... I don't know. They're interesting to me as an adult, but I could not find myself giving a shit about this game if I was, like, playing Genshin Impact, you know? <laughs> There's too much good stuff now. Like, how do you pry a kid away from Fortnite? You know what I mean? Fortnite is undefeatable. You can't. Fortnite is otherworldly. Show them Apex? No. No way, dude. Apex is for... Hmm. Apex is for a different sort of breed. Tardigrade, cryptic machine above the cupboard. Okay. Does Apex have Marvel? <laughs> yeah, I, Apex is for slightly older kids or just edgy kids. I know I need a screwdriver? Okay. And a ring pop. Okay. Dude, there's so much of this level I haven't seen. Jesus. Hey! This is so fucking cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my god. Look at all these little houses. This level rocks. Is it the whole game? I think it's the whole demo. Oh, a letter. Uh, grab that, I guess. The, um... The demo just came out a few days ago, so... I thought I was special, dude, because I got it on Keymailer. And I was like, oh shit, they offered me a copy. Sick. And then I realized it's on Steam for free. <laughs> so. Silly me. I felt so goofy. I've never played Chibi Robo. So, I do not understand the Chibi Robo comparisons. I just wonder when this is coming out. Because it feels like almost done? I don't know. Have you played Bug Fables? No, I have no interest, dude. Honestly, man, Paper Mario is so, uh, I don't know. It's fine. I'm not crazy about it, but 